All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the first episode of our Daggerfall playthrough. I just want to go ahead and get this out of the way straight off the bat. I've only played Daggerfall once or twice, and I've never really gotten that far into the game. So it's going to be a learning experience for me, and maybe entertaining for you, those of you that know the game like the back of your hand or grew up playing this type of game. I grew up around the time of Skyrim, so a lot of this stuff is going to kind of be surprising to me. And, well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just excited to get into it, to be honest with you. Though I do want to address what you're probably looking at when it comes to primary skills, major skills, and minor, along with my stats. These were just things that I picked off the recommendation of a friend, particularly in terms of things that might be beneficial to the way I play a game. I normally always do like a battle mage of some sort. So forgive me if this looks like absolute garbage, and those of you that grew up playing this kind of game are probably cringing right now looking at it, but who knows? Maybe I made a very, very good class, and I'm going to breeze through this game. I suppose we will find out. But that's enough uh, talking. We'll get back in into it again when we finish with the cinematic. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the game do its thing. And I will catch you once it's done. Four hundred years after Tiber Septim's reign, the beginning will meet the end, and the bloody circle will close at the Empire of Tamriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim, the seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. With a spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor and as your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the Queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now, my champion, rest well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. You know, there is something truly magical about old games and their ability to portray a story through live action. You don't really see many games do that anymore. Nowadays, I guess, graphics are so good, who'd even need a real person when you can just make a model that looks like a real person and go with it. But I've always loved old games that aren't afraid to get a little creative with it, especially when it comes to Daggerfall and that opening cinematic. It's, it's so cool. 
Uh, but I'll quit talking your ear off and read this for you real quick. You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall. When a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a malefic creature. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a promor promontory rock. I probably didn't say that word right. There you found a cave and escaped to the fury of the storm. You had only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. Your fear of being burned alive, buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of this cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you could begin the Emperor's quest. So, like I said, I've played this a little bit before. I actually recorded an entire episode not too long ago, but I had to throw it away because the audio on it was horrible. It just didn't pick up right. Hopefully I fixed that and I won't have to do this for a third time. It seems to be a trend with me. If you watched my Rule of Rose playthrough, you probably heard me complain about this countless times. I always end up messing it up somehow, but we will use a tutorial just to kind of remind myself how to play the game. Let's see here. Thank God I, I said yes to the tutorial because I'm already forgetting how to play. We've got an Ebony Dagger, which is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and equip that. Couldn't hurt. So I picked a custom class, like I said before in the beginning of the title area, or title screen with all my stats. I figured maybe it'd be more fun doing that. Uh, another thing I want to address is probably you've noticed the graphics in this look a lot better. I am playing Daggerfall on Unity, and I have the mod Dream installed along with it, which is kind of like a graphic overhaul for the entire game. I know some people might get upset about that, might prefer the old kind of pixelated art and stuff like that, and you know, there still is that kind of stuff when it comes to sprites, but I decided to go ahead and overhaul, make it look a little nicer, maybe for some of the newer audience, kind of like myself or the younger generation that want to go see this game for the first time and maybe saw what the game looked like back then and kind of just, you know, wrinkled their nose at it. So we're going to kind of keep it as the way it is, but if enough people in the comments say that, you know, they prefer to see the old style of the game, then who am I to tell them no? Right, so I, I have made it through Privateer Hold in the past. Know what I'm doing for the most part. Hopefully this will be a breeze, because last time I did this, my old playthrough, it didn't go so well. So we're playing a character called Alistair. This is a character I made in Elder Scrolls Online a little while ago. Kind of fell in love with him a little bit. He's a Breton. Of course, he didn't look as suave as our character does here. Hell of a place to pause when a giant bat's coming around the corner to absolutely obliterate me. Okay, we're good. But I learned from my previous playthrough some of the skills that I kind of want and, you know, the things I'd like to excel in. Uh, medical being one of the major ones, because I do tend to rest quite a while in these games. Mainly because I'm terrified of what's around the corner. So I already know all this. That's the reason I'm skipping through it. I don't want to, you know, seem like I'm just getting impatient. But yeah, Daggerfall is kind of a dungeon crawler game for those of you who have never seen it before. I mean, I think most Elder Scrolls games are can be defined as a dungeon crawler. Um, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Last time we talked, uh, <laughs> I didn't get sick with COVID. And, well, I have now. I got a skirt. That's pretty cool. Maybe I can earn some extra gold in the city wearing that. I don't know. But yeah, I got sick of COVID uh, not too long ago. I think about a couple weeks ago, probably. So it's still kind of fresh in me. Uh, it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. Not just because it's COVID, but there's a number of things that added up to it just demolishing me. For example, at the time I was playing a game called Frostpunk. I don't know how many of you have ever heard of it, but it's a wonderful game. And... I ended up staying up way past the time I probably should have. And as a result, I didn't get any sleep and I was coming up close to 24 or 26 hours of no sleep. And right as I was about to go to bed, 
COVID decided to hit and I started shuddering. I couldn't go to sleep. And it, it, basically it was, uh, I think it was a, like somewhere around 32 hours or something like that. I was awake. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my uh, roommate about it again. Got a potion recipe. That's pretty cool. And as a result, I was just absolutely obliterated for a while there. A potion of restore power. That's actually really useful. Uh, okay, well, I was hoping that would tell me how to brew the potion, but we'll we'll figure that out later. So I took a couple days off from streaming and everything like that to kind of recover. And I've just been lazy on the main channel, I'm not going to lie, but I'm hoping to remedy that with this playthrough on top of some other games that I've been wanting to play that, again, I, I'm worried about playing on Twitch because I think that someone might come in and just ruin the game for me or spoil it. Games like, well, I'm not going to say it just in case anyone in the comments decides to want to spoil me on them, but you guys will see as time goes on. I'm going to start uploading a lot more on the main channel, hopefully. This guy's probably going to kill me. I was right. Probably should have saved. I don't remember when I last saved. Oh yeah, here's the amazing death ending. Gone forever. Alistair tried, and that's all we can ever ask of him. Right, so I need to get back into the habit of saving constantly. Otherwise, we're going to be here for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me, I woke up only about an hour ago. So my voice is still... Uh, <laughs> I'm still waking up. My voice is still getting to its natural cadence and so forth. Okay. Let's go back and heal real quick. But yeah, I've, I've played through almost every Elder Scrolls game. I haven't played through Arena, and I haven't done... Oh, that's a little foreboding. Ah, it's a rat that's come down to witness me. Greetings. I wonder where he actually came from. What if he came all the way from the top of the dungeon down here? I heard that enemies can do that in this game, and they, they tend to. I also got reshade on on this as well. Which is probably why the lighting looks a little bit better and everything. Again, just some graphical overhauls. Nothing that's going to change the gameplay of the of it or um, make the game unrecognizable for those of you who are veterans to this kind of game. Very, very basic things. I, I didn't want to take away from the original experience of playing through Daggerfall. I just wanted to make it look a little nicer. We're just going to go ahead and save over this one. No need to bloat our save screen, I guess, with countless saves. Let's go if we can... Oh, this is... Oh, okay, no, wait. Oh, no, no, there's a rat. I was about to say, I thought this was the rat that we killed out in the hallway. I thought it just walked out and politely closed the door behind it to come and kick my ass. But yeah, I'm excited. I... I really don't know too much about Daggerfall, as you can probably tell from those of you that saw my stat screen. But I've loved every Elder Scrolls game, from Mortwind to Oblivion to Skyrim. You know, people said I could just go ahead and avoid Arena. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but a lot of them said it wasn't really even worth playing. Maybe just watching another person do a YouTube video on it and calling it there, or just looking up the plot synopsis for it, which I don't really think there is very much plot in Arena, but maybe one day. I think it's free on Steam, so maybe one day I'll go back and uh, play through that if this kind of takes off and people request more old games. But i got a couple things in mind that I want to get out of the way first and foremost on this channel games I've been recommended by my Twitch chat, and some games that I've been recommended by, oh, that's really nice, uh, friends and such. So one of the reasons I picked a custom class, rather than picking one of the ones they gave to me, is because, I should probably keep the ebony dagger, I don't think I'm going to sell that. Uh, right, is because I, 
my last class, which was a spell sword, I'm pretty sure, had the horrible ability to not wear elven armor. Which, as far as I know, is one of the better armors in the game. And I found a pair of elven boots right as soon as the game started, and I just couldn't wear them. And you know what? That was kind of annoying. Speaking of annoying, what's going on here? There we go. That was... Maybe I should just keep the ebony dagger at this point, honestly. I mean, ebony is probably stronger, right? I don't know if certain types of weapons mean stronger damage. I mean, I'm, that might just be the the Skyrim player in me that's speaking there. But one thing you've probably noticed when it comes to tutorials for Daggerfall, or dungeons in general, I guess I should say, not tutorials, but... The dungeons in this game are incredibly large. Incredibly large. And there's tons of, like, trap doors and... Okay, hang on, wait a minute. I'll finish that thought in just a moment. Okay, cool. Let me see if you got anything interesting on him. Nothing really. He had a map, though. The location of King Heart's Hold. You record on your map. Well, it seems like we just got ourselves our next dungeon after this, which is pretty cool. Unless it's a settlement, I don't know. Could just be a settlement. But right, so the dungeons in Daggerfall are insane. There's trap doors you gotta think about, there's particular monsters roaming in it. Uh, this game doesn't fuck around when it comes to the difficulty. It doesn't really hold your hand like other games do, and I know that's a very typical thing to say when it comes to older games. Like, uh, people used to get upset about the fact that there... Well, I think they probably still get upset that there are quest markers in games and stuff like that. I've heard that particular critique, I suppose, when it comes to World of Warcraft and also Skyrim. It just... Oh, there's a... What, what is this? Oh, this is... Oh, this is a... Oh. Oh. Right, so... A grizzly bear to a skeleton. I see. This first dungeon has everything, really. Oh, I might die to the skeleton. Skeletons in this game don't really fuck around like they do in Skyrim. Sorry, I my voice raised in lilt because I recoiled IRL. I couldn't I couldn't help myself. I get into the game a little bit too too much sometimes. I tried to actively dodge him. All right, so let's go ahead and heal because we have we're like a pubic hair lint away from dying, and that makes me nervous. But, uh, great, there's nothing back here. Daggerfall doesn't hold your hand, and you've got to read the quests that are given to you a lot of the times, and a lot of the times the quests have very, very quick timers that come with them. I think even the main quest can be failed. Oh, okay. If you don't do it fast enough, which is a little concerning for me because I do tend to get distracted quite easily playing through games and can end up wandering around and doing something completely different than I've been tasked with for a good number of hours. So I guess we will see if I'll just fail the main quest and <laughs> we never get to see what the story of Daggerfall is. Hopefully that won't happen. I'll try to keep an eye on it for us though. because Again, I want us all to experience this game together. And I'd like to see the full potential of the game, if at all possible. Okay, that leads up. I want to explore a little bit more around here on the bottom level. Okay. Oh my god, this ebony dagger is so good. I don't I don't even think I picked any of it. Like, I didn't pick a starter thing at all. I have no chest piece. Why am I not wearing a chest piece? Sure, that's been driving people insane. It's okay. There we are. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep a lot of this armor on us, for the most part, just to kind of sell off to some merchants later. So Alistair, being a Breton, is really well known for his etiquette and his likeness by the nobility, or I guess I should say his popularity by the nobility. Oftentimes he does quest for them in lieu of what peasants might ask. But that's normally just because the pay is better, not that he has a particular hatred towards the peasantry, just that he's a 
simple man trying to make it in the world, and one job pays better than the other, and you can't fault him for that. Uh, okay, this looks like the shit room, so I'm gonna try to get past this. Let's save again. I'm gonna start quick saving here soon, just to make it easier so we don't have to keep seeing the save screen and everything like that. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried right now, because I think my class might be a little bit broken, and I hope that's not the case. Last time I went through here with one of the, the classes that you could just pick, I, I was struggling quite a bit, but on this I'm absolutely clapping cheeks, for lack of a better word. And I don't mind it too much, to be honest. You know, combat in Daggerfall is, is fun. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it thrilling or exciting, but that might... Okay, so something just killed a, a bat and a rat at the same time, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and I also hear the, the screams of the damned. This is a bit spooky, but... Oh, it's an imp! See, these guys on my um, other playthrough that I did, the one that got lost because of the audio, I had to... I had to punch to death. Which is pretty fun to imagine your character grabbing an imp by the neck and just <laughs> not putting up with it. So let's go ahead and quick save real quick. Because we're almost done with Privateer Hole. That's the uh, that's the exit right there. But we're going to go and explore a little bit more. There was that big lower area, which I want to go and look at. And then there was also this area back here. That's uh, a die to a rat. That'd be kind of embarrassing. The one thing to note is that no matter how powerful you might be, skeletons in this game, which is, there's one right here as I remembered last time, well, normally they're nothing to be scoffed at. They can absolutely just clap you at any point, but again, I think I might have made Alistair a little bit broken, but maybe people prefer it that way. I'm sure that there's been plenty of people that's played through Daggerfall and got advice from a friend and ended up making a class that just absolutely breezes through it. And I know that Daggerfall, like I said with the dungeons, can be unforgiving when it comes to combat as well. This is a plus three, it's not as good as us, but... I mean, we've got so much inventory space that we, we can just grab as much as we want, right? We're, we're very, very strong. Let us see here, so... There we are. Practically decked out in chainmail armor already. This is a pretty good first run, to be honest. That is if this skeleton doesn't decide to absolutely obliterate us, which it seems to be wanting to do. It might. Let's see here. Oh, okay, we're good. This game keeps you on your toes. It really does. Which, you know... I don't know if it's the word stress I would use, but it does keep my attention a lot more when it comes to... Oh, I've already leveled up. Cool. So, let's see. I'm going to guess that we probably want to up our will a little bit. Let's do that. And then we can put some more in endurance because I do want my, my health to go up. Maybe even get it to 60 would probably be a good idea. Maybe we should just do this, right? And then we can put one more point in willpower. And that looks good to me. I like that. Alright, cool. But yeah, Skyrim, it's kind of... It kind of becomes mind-numbing after a while, doesn't it? It gets to a point where... But that, that's also because this game has been out... Not this game, but... Skyrim has been out for... What, 10 years now? It came out in 2010 or something like that? I, I'm not sure on the exact date, but it's... It's been out a while. I mean, you can thank Todd for that, right? So... Of course, it feels a bit mind-numbing that we've had it out for so long, and it's the most recent Elder Scrolls games, and, you know, even with mods, like graphical mods, or, uh, what's that one? I can't remember what the name of it is, but there's a mod that allows you to, uh, freeze people, like when you cast an ice spell on them, where they just turn into, like, burnt corpses, or they get shocked to death when they die from certain spells. Really, really cool mod. Uh, highly recommend it if you never heard of it. I, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called, like fire combustion or something like that um again <laughs> not giving the mod the justice it deserves but if you're interested in making skyrim a bit more fascinating or 
Yeah, that's weird. There's whispering going on. But add a bit more realism to it. That's definitely the way to do it. That and, like, Frostfall and such. You know. Leave it to the community to save a Bethesda game, am I right? So you've probably noticed that this game is very dark right now. That will change later on. I'll grab a torch and we will be able to actually see what we're looking at. It's dark on my screen too, so don't worry. It's, you're not going to miss out on much. I'm pretty sure most of the monsters charge me anyway, so... If there's an enemy that I'm fighting, you'll definitely be able to see it. Jesus fucking Christ! That was... Sorry. That was genuine fear. That guy... That was an orc. That was just a whole ass orc that came out. What the hell? I did not know there was an orc in here. Okay. Um, I thought it was a goblin. I'm gonna be real with you. That's let's uh let's let's quick save again, yeah. What is he? The rancor of this place? Were they just feeding him bodies? Holy shit! You know, I definitely think that my my build might be a little bit broken now because I feel like that was meant to be a trap for players. Good lord, man. It, it kind of threw me off my grind a bit. I don't I don't even remember what I was talking about. That was quite literally a jump scare. Hello? I don't know why I said hello. Like, they could respond to me. I'm becoming immersed. A silver battle axe sounds pretty cool. I guess we could maybe drop, like, the iron longsword and, uh... Maybe some of the other stuff that I feel like probably won't go for a lot of money. Uh, do we have any duplicates going on? We do. So let's let's drop some duplicate stuff. Uh, leather armor probably isn't going to sell for as much as chain armor and the like. And drop the iron dagger as well. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Ooh, iron greaves and iron boots. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm glad that we decided to come back. Yeah, we're definitely going to be unstoppable. Say that now. Wait. This is better than Iron Greaves. Okay, cool. I definitely say that now, but there's probably going to be a point not too long ago from here. Or a little while in where I am absolutely fuming because the game's just doing nothing but kicking my ass. And, well, that's part of it. Let's do another quick save. Okay. The bat just came straight at me like a Scooby-Doo title sequence. That was a little terrifying, not gonna lie. I'm not really big fans of uh, the way that enemies charge you in this game. It's actually kind of frightening. Create another grizzly bear and just, you know. Put a grizzly bear in a room in a dungeon. Who cares, right? This is the equivalent of having a dungeon master that wants you to stop playing the game with him but doesn't have the heart to tell you he doesn't want to play anymore. So he just... Rose shit at you. Rocks fall and everybody dies. So glad I never had one of those dungeon masters. Granted, I normally am the dungeon master, and you know. But I read those RPG horror stories. There's a there's a Reddit, which I know, you know. Reddit. Ha 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 ha, but there's one that where people detail their worst experiences playing Dungeons and Dragons and honestly it's a little sad because I could see people playing games like this and really being into the fantasy world all of a sudden and then having a one bad experience especially the experiences that um people write about Ooh, okay so that is a trap door okay so, so there we go point proven with the uh there being secret doors and stuff it never hurts to click everything in this game Talking like I'm an expert, but I'm really not. Trust me. I think the highest character I've ever had in this game was 4, if that helps paint a picture on how far I've made it. I feel like there should be something back here, but... I'm not really getting anything in terms of a trap door, so we'll... We'll go about our business, I suppose. Let's go ahead and do another quick save. Ah, okay, so this is... Nothing. What? Oh, it's a stair... Okay. Sorry, the drop was so steep that I wasn't able to tell if that was just a, a balcony of some sorts, or if that was... I heard something. 
been like someone maybe knocked down a door or something along those lines. I re oh wait was that a oh I thought I heard a trap door open or a, a hidden door. I guess I should probably start saying rather than trap door. Maybe the the brazier in the middle of the room. No. Any of the benches? Nope. Well, I'm definitely hearing a rat. By the way, this is what the map looks like for Daggerfall. In case none of you have ever seen it before. It's this big 3D rendering of the places you've explored. It's pretty cool, actually. I, I kind of like it. it. It adds more depth and allows the developers, I imagine, to kind of make more wackier dungeons. So I'm pretty sure most of the dungeons that you enter are randomly generated rather than actually being handcrafted. Which is, I mean, fair, considering... Well, you'll, you'll, you'll see when we get there. I'll show you. No? The throne doesn't do anything? What about this? What is this? Oh. Oh. I never knew about this. Huh. Where does this take us? Is this... Have we already been up here? I feel like we might have. This is like a shortcut of some sort. Ah, oh, it is. Okay, I know where we are. Huh. That's actually really interesting. I guess if you want to get through the dungeon and you've done this before, that's a, a little secret way to get up to the top and out of the dungeon. Really cool, actually. So I'm pretty sure that we might have left the trap door or secret door untouched. And that's fine. I don't really want to linger around here for too long in the first episode. I kind of want to get out and show you guys the rest of I Rock and Daggerfall in particular. Now, if I could only... Wait, where's the exit again? I think it's up, actually. This doesn't bode well for us, does it? <laughs> the first dungeon, I already got lost somehow. I mean, I can't help it. I, I love exploring in games and stuff like that, which... You know... It, like I was saying before, Daggerfall encourages you to do it. I feel like in Skyrim, you can only explore so much. The dungeons are kind of... On rails, for lack of a better word. Again, don't don't hate Skyrim at all. Skyrim was my first Elder Scrolls game. So I have no right to talk bad about it and say it's... You know, it's a cruddy game that... The, the more modern terms kind of ruined it or anything like that. Or modern gaming, you know, traditions and such. Like, no, 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 no. None of that, none of that. I think the game is perfect as it is. Uh, well, not perfect, but it's a pretty decent game. I think perfect is <laughs> a bit of too strong of a word for Skyrim, considering the bugs it has. But what, what Bethesda game doesn't have bugs? Honestly, they go hand in hand. Oh, here we go. Here's the exit. Right. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Let's go ahead and quick save again. Nice. Alright, let us hope that the game doesn't crash. Yes, my computer is struggling to run Daggerfall. It's it's rough out here, guys. But it's mainly just because of the mod, I like to imagine. Congratulations, you have made it out of the starter dungeon, Privateer's Hold. I bet you're wondering what to do now. What you need is a town. Towns have the services you will need throughout the game. Let's fast travel to one. Fast travel is done by pressing the V key. The region that you're in, Daggerfall, is highlighted in red. Click on a region that, and you get a blown up map. Excuse me. There are a lot of places on this map. Let's find the city of Daggerfall. Click find and type in Daggerfall. The most convenient way of traveling is by clicking cautiously and ends, both of which are the default settings. Otherwise, you risk arriving at night and having to climb the walls to get into town, which we will likely do <laughs> more times than I care to admit. So, these places right here, just to give you an idea, are all individual places we can go to. Every single place here. And just to kind of give you another idea, you can go to different provinces. So... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure someone said something about the map being so big that it, like, to walk all the way across it would take 
I don't remember. I don't want to say days, because obviously that's not the truth, but... Yes, Daggerfall has a lot of content, needless to say. It's an, it's an endless supplier of gameplay, if that's what you're looking for. I don't think most people are looking to play this game for the rest of their life, which I imagine is probably how long it would take to explore each and every location, but... You know. Alright. Ah, the sights and sounds of the city. Did you arrive at night or try to rest? If so, the guards will not let anyone sleep in the streets or even too close to the walls. You can only rest in taverns if you have purchased a room there. The first thing you want to do is press the F4 key to set your mode to dialogue. You can change this mode of interaction anytime using F1 to F4. Now get close to the townsfolk. They won't stop to talk to you unless you are not moving. Click on a person and you will be placed in a dialogue screen. You want to find a general store or smith, or you want to find a general store or weaponsmith. It is one of the places where you can sell your excess gear. The person will probably give you directions. Travel in that direction for a while, then ask another passerby. Continue until someone marks it on your map. Press M to view it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into interaction and not have our weapon out when we walk in. And welcome to the first city, Daggerfall. It doesn't look big now, but let me open the map. And let me scroll out. Uh, so yeah, this is the entire city. Yeah, it's, it's a bit much. Now, this is the reason why you need to ask people for directions. Because if there's a particular shop you want to go to... Uh, as you can tell from the bottom down here, where it says shops, taverns, and guilds, and such. It's a lot of them. So. We're just going to go to the first one that we can find. Aw, hello. Kind of looks... Like a person wearing a cat suit. Oh, hello. So, in this game, people can be assholes. So, for example... Let's go to Lady The... The... Dyktor's retail store. That sounds good. Though we might go to God the Steer's quality general store. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? Ooh, Daggerfall's best equipment store. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, to go east of here. Okay. So, you can sometimes just click on people. There we go. And... <laughs> they just have enough of you. And they go, fine, I'll just mark it on your map. Please. Just leave me alone. So that's what we just did there. We just harassed that person and given us the directions to the, the shop we wanted to go. Though, to be fair, there is a general store right here. So it probably wouldn't hurt just to go in, inside and peek. See what we've got going on. It's kind of a... Not very... Big shop, is it? It might do us well to wait till we go to the more finer quality one. We might even get a better price over at the finer quality one. Who knows? I sure don't. And here's our first tavern. The taverns are pretty cool. Uh, mainly because they got uh, quest out here that, that will, you know, send us on our merry way to new dungeons and stuff. Plus, we can also ask about local areas. All right, I'm gonna have to blur that. That's that's just a full-on naked woman. I thought I turned that off, but you know what? There she. This door also leads to a naked woman. God damn it! Why do you have two doors leading to a naked woman? What is this place? Is this is this really a tavern? Where am I? All right, we're we're just gonna go about our business. Wait, maybe she... No, no, no. We don't... No. She's fine. Who knows why she's naked in the middle of winter. In an empty room where there's no furniture. Oh, this place looks cozy. Greetings, fellows. We're just kind of looking around right now. I know that we could probably head to the general store. I just kind of want to... You know, take in the atmosphere of the place. I mean, the music in this game is... Absolutely... Grand. I often find myself writing for my Dungeons and Dragons campaign, and the Daggerfall soundtrack is one of my go-tos. 
It's just such a good, good sounding uh, soundtrack. It's very simplistic too. I don't know if I want to say simplistic, but yeah. Compared to the chorus that they had with Skyrim, simplistic probably is a befitting word. If we're lucky on this, especially since we explored Privateer Hole to its extent, is there a way that I can see how much gold I have? Because if we're lucky, we may be able to buy... There we go, let's see. I have a 411 gold pieces. Okay, so we're still a little bit off, but maybe when we sell everything, we'll be able to purchase a very important item, which is a horse and then a wagon. So... The reason you need that is because if you're exploring a dungeon and you have too much stuff on you, you can just go to your horse and wagon and put it away. What the hell is this? Man, that person's dog is extremely sick. I don't it's like a mixture between a pig and a dog. The were dog right there. There are werewolves in this game, I do know that. And I know that getting uh, lycanthropy, or whatever it's called, is extremely broken. You can absolutely destroy some people if you get lycanthropy and you turn into a werewolf. It is absolutely broken. The shop is laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. All the items seem to be of adequate construction. Right, adequate is not what I was hoping to uh, find when I came to... The best shop ever, supposedly, but that's fine. So, let's go ahead and sell... Uh, you know what, we might actually keep that, but we will sell the Steel Mace, the Broadsword, the Saber... Is this two-handed? I don't think it is. We'll keep the Silver Battle Axe. Because I'm pretty sure that if we run into anything, like I was mentioning before... Uh, like Canthropy or... A werewolf, that's what I was trying to say. We need silver, because I think that's the only thing that can hurt them, but I could be wrong. So let's go ahead and sell this off to them. Uh, right. So it says the cost here is 1158 and they're trying to sell it to me for 420 which is pretty funny, haha, -ha, but we're going to go somewhere else. I, I don't think that's probably our best move ever. Let's see if we can find a different place. So... Armorers. Maybe we can go there. Could be anywhere. Yeah, you, you're... Well, you're not wrong. Excuse me. Let's go to... Ah, thank you. Great, cool. I'm not sure if the race you play in this game affects how people will interact with you. Because my previous character, the one on the audio that broke and everything like that, was a Dark Elf. And they were not very fond of me, I'm going to be honest with you. They were not willing to give me directions nearly as much as they are with Alistair. But I also think that's because I have changed the reputation system. Well, my reputation hasn't been changed, but I'm basically hated by the Underworld, which is fine because I'm not planning on doing any crime or anything like that. Uh, it's night, so we're going to go and we're going to go find a, a tavern to settle down for, for a while. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not night. What, what's going on here? Why is that place closed? It's not good business, is it? Okay, let's try this general store here and see how much they'll give us for the stuff I want to sell. So they actually give us less. Interesting. Okay, well... Maybe we can be lucky and we can go find a blacksmith around here. It just seems to be like the town square of sorts, so I imagine there's probably one... Let's see, what is that? That's a clother. I don't think that makes armor. That probably just makes, like, clothing. I mean, it's clother. What else would they make, Bo? Here we go. Cool. So all the shops that I want to get into are closed. Very interesting. Nice. Okay, right on. But it's still like the middle of the day. It's not even... It's not even night yet. Maybe it is? I don't know if there's a way to look at the time in this game or not, but... 
I really wish there was because <laughs> these shops are giving me mixed reactions. Like this one I can get into. So it appears to be that only the places I want to actually get into are preventing me. That's fine. We'll go into here and we'll sell some uh, some of the stuff that we might not really need. Uh, we got a short shirt and a short skirt. We can sell that. I mean, that's probably not going to hurt us, right? Whatever. Ingredients. Magic items, weapon and armor. Right, so what we'll do is we will probably go get a tavern room. And hopefully not one that's also ran as a brothel. That else there has anything against brothels, but it's not really what he's in the mood for today. He's just come out from a dungeon after a shipwreck, and sex isn't really the thing he's thinking about at the moment. More so, putting his head on top of a pillow. Uh, yes, I would require a room for one day. Five gold pieces is a bit expensive, but not too bad, so... We're going to uh, wait, rest here for a while. We're going to try to wait about 12 hours. And so another reason you don't want to wait outside is not only is it against the law to rest outside, but as the intro cinematic said, the king of Daggerfall, or the previous king, I'm pretty sure, I could be saying this completely wrong. I'm scared to open doors because I don't want to see Uba anymore. So, um, Right, so we, we need to rest a little bit longer. I was correct in saying that uh, that was probably the middle of the day. So I'm not really sure why the store wasn't open. Maybe they just don't like me. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that like the shit box? Is that where you... Whatever. Uh, but there is a ghost of the king that wanders around and he does scream vengeance at you and it is kind of scary. In a previous playthrough I got jump scared by him so we're going to try to avoid that this time. already got jump scared by an orc. I'm really not looking forward to getting jump scared by a specter so we're going to avoid that. Especially Alistair. Alistair's been through a lot. I can't imagine he'd be very fond of... Ah. So today's lesson is about guilds. A guild is an organization that benefits, offers benefits to its members. As you rise into rank in a guild, you get more benefits. To rise in rank, you must improve skills that your guild cares about. Perform quests on a regular basis to improve your reputation with them. You can belong to more than one guild. All spellcasters should join a mage's guild. Everyone should pick a temple to join. However, pick carefully. You can only be a member of one temple. Fighter type characters should join either the Fighter's Guild or the Knightly Order. Uh, right, and if you're a thief or murderer, the Underworld will contact you. Cool. So, my time for this room has expired. They're kicking me out, which is fair and just. It was only five gold. Right, so let's go see if we can get into the store I want to go into now. Am I, am I stupid? Don't answer that question, but it was, a, it was a hypothetical. Just speaking out loud. I guess a hypothetical isn't that, but you know. Not really helping my case on not looking stupid, I suppose. Alright, so we've got a jeweler. Jeweler. I can't say that word, I'm sorry. Being raised in the South is kind of butchered my pronunciation a bit. Alas, what can one do? So I like to imagine these kind of recordings help. Oh, a letter for you, Alistair. Thank you, my good man. Let us check this. Ah. Dear Alistair, I heard about your accident at sea and feared the worst. Now that I've heard you are alive and well, I would like an opportunity to meet with you and discuss our beloved Emperor's mission in the Iliac Bay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Lady Magnazine, the Emperor's agent in the Court of Daggerfall. My position is not so official as an ambassador. None but other agents of the Emperor know of my true affiliation. The Iliac Bay is rife with rebels against the Imperial Throne, so your discretion is required. For the purpose of our meeting, I will take a room at an inn. 
the Rat and Dagger in the West Fort Dairy of Daggerfall, for a month. After that, I will no longer be available. I will expect you as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, Brizienna Lady Magnusine. Cool. So, again with the time-gated thing that I mentioned earlier, we can't completely just ignore this letter. And I don't know what happens if you do, and I know the game doesn't end. I think it just kind of says, well, you kind of fucked up, huh? <laughs> and it tells you, well, go go load a save or something, or... Or I don't know, just keep doing what you're doing, champ. Whatever makes you happy, huh? But we're gonna, we're gonna actually acknowledge this. What's this place? Is this the general store? Hello? Oh. Oh, I don't know what this place is, but it, it says shop. This might be like a thief's den, to be honest. That might be a place to sell stolen goods and such. So we're not going to really have much use for that place as of right now. Or possibly ever, but regardless. There's the sick dog trying to throw up. God save him. Speaking of gods, I need to figure out what patron uh, Adra Alistair might want to pick. I'd imagine Julianos. He seems like the scholarly type, maybe. Can't really think of the other ones that um, he might want to go join. At least in terms of character, I think Julianos is probably one of his. That or RK. RK might be good as well. I'm not really sure exactly yet, but we will go visit a temple before long, and we will sign ourselves up with one of the holy orders, and potentially go out and do some business with them. What is this place? Oh, well, I think this might be another Thieves Guild. I'm not sure. He didn't want anything that I had to sell, so... Oh, Vintage Elixirs. Okay. So we're hitting a lot of places that aren't places I want to go. Which is unfortunate, but... A part of this experience is... Learning together. My first time in a big city. I actually kind of like that. Being in a big city for the first time, you're kind of lost, figuring out like where to go, and you have to ask people for help. It's, it's really interesting, because I know that Whiterun was supposed to probably be a big city. I mean, it's the trade hub of Skyrim, but it really only had like 12 houses, <laughs> which is kind of sad. But again, graphical limitations for a game and at that time, and oh, thank God. We can finally sell our goods. Okay, I was half expecting another naked lady to be there in the back, but thankfully not. Let's see if we can get a good price. Let's see. This does... So Iron Greaves, it's plus 7, and this is plus 6. Not, not too, too big of a difference. I guess still is probably what you're looking for in terms of major upgrades, huh? And sell this, and then we don't need the iron boots because we have steel. And we can sell one of these, and this, and this, and this, and this. Ah, there we go. Probably not as much as we could get, but for right now, absolutely, we will take it. Mainly because now we need to. Let's see here. How much gold do we have now total? We have a thousand seven hundred. 71 gold pieces. Very good. So to buy a horse, I think it's somewhere in the thousands. So we're not going to do that right away. Instead, we're going to go figure out where the Mage's Guild is. And we're going to buy two very important spells that we're going to need. Let's see. Guilds. Uh, the Knights of the Dragon. They must be pretty important. They got two places around here for some reason. Alright. Thank you, man. Imagine living in the city and not knowing where the Mage's Guild is. I feel like that's of vast importance. It's like... 
Okay, these people don't really like me right now. That's... I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what I did. Maybe it's because I'm rich. There's a reason people blow up and then act like they don't know no... I messed up. Act like they don't know nobody. I'll just edit that out. I'm not going to do that. But you guys can put in the comments. That was really funny, Bo. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. I was right there. Good lord. I could have just went over there and looked and I would have been faster. Whatever. Anyways, but I think that comment was really funny. You know what? For it being almost an hour into the recording, I think that was my first big flub, which is, you know, that's fair. It happens. When I did Rule of Rose, it took me a little bit to get back into the grind of talking and making sure I was understandable and over pronunciating everything it really just does quality when it does to uh when it comes to recording videos and such but who gives a shit about that we're here to watch me go into a dungeon and obliterate things so let's go ahead and go get the spell that we need to actually go how is the mages guild locked you're the mages guild are you kidding me why are all these places locked in the middle of the day? Am I... Am I being silly right now? I feel like these places should still be open. Is it something I said? Did I do something wrong? Alright, well... The good news is there's a tavern right down here. Maybe we'll go to that, that one place that we needed to go. Ooh. He's what we want to look like eventually. What was the place she went to? Good lord, there's so many different animals. The rat and something, right? Was that even here? I'm gonna, let's see. In for notebook, let's... For landing, right. We're just gonna open up our inventory again and we're gonna look. In the West Fort Dairy of Daggerfall. Is there a place called West Fort Dairy? I think there is. Oh, yep. Yeah. Alright, so we're off. And here we are. Not the most inviting place I've ever seen. The fog and music kind of gives me undead, evil necromancy vibes, but that's fine. Where is the rat and dagger? Thank you, thank you. See, we could just take their instructions and just go So You know what? This place isn't that big. It probably would have been easy to take his advice actually and just go to the southwest all right let us see what our letter friend our little pin pal has to say to us should be right here there we are Uh, now, if I was that person, you. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, thank you for responding to my letter, Alistair. I am Lady Brazinia. Uh, probably not saying that right, but we're going to keep calling her that until someone tells me different. Let me bring you up to date on affairs. <laughs> Excuse me, again. COVID's still racking me. The specter of King Lysandris, uh, Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word vengeance, but that is the only coherent word I have ever heard him utter. If you are ever in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would probably be more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus in the, uh, to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit the suspicion. A merit more suspicion. 
The major powers of the bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall may be good places to start. In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not know the name of this courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see what, whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I am leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Do not mention my name in court. It is more likely to hurt than help. Good luck and watch your back, Alistair. All right. So we've been kind of given a, a push in the right direction. We should go meet the three major powers of the Iliac Bay, Daggerfall, Wayrest, and Sentinel. So perhaps we will start with Daggerfall, since we've been there before. It couldn't hurt. Though, rather than going and doing political espionage over and over again... Where was that place that we discovered? King Heart's Hold. Let us see if we can find King's... I spelled that wrong. Look at that. Let us go and do a small little dungeon, huh? Maybe we can get something good from this place and up our uh yes, this is this is quest basically is what this is telling us. And up our profit a bit so we can actually get a horse and a wagon. Ooh, I'm sinking. Ooh, it's cold. Ooh, thank god. There's no like hypothermia or anything like that. Oh! I hope I just entered a dungeon, otherwise the game just crashed, so... We will find out momentarily. This has to be the mod that's making my, um... Oh, yeah, we definitely entered the dungeon. Okay, cool. Well, I don't know if this is the most inviting dungeon I've ever been into... Been in my, in my entire life, but... Here we are. I'll wait for them to... There we go. All that, just to die, huh? Life do be a bitch sometimes. Hopefully we can find some better armor in here as well. That'd be very nice. Got really lucky my first time through last time where I had a... Uh... Oh, there we go. So, when doors are locked... There's this cool little feature you can do, as you probably just saw the battle mage do that I slew, where you can just beat the shit out of the door and it just eventually opens. I guess it's supposed to be a representation of you running into the door over and over again, and then it finally just gives up. I, I'm not sure what's in this room, but I'm not really liking it. Uh, it looks like another battle mage, maybe? Oh no, this is like a, a wizard. Oh, the mage. Okay. Close enough. Oh, iron left pauldron. Very nice. We're just going to pick up everything first. Uh, oh, I forgot to go get the spell from the mage's guild. Oh my god. That's going to be a pain in the ass. That's okay. We're going to try to remember the path we're going. <laughs> I'm sure many people have said that in the past before. And with this game, I will probably get lost in the dungeons and never see light again but we're gonna we're gonna try our best keep to the straight and narrow make sure that All right, is there nothing in here I can't even loot this I thought I heard like something open but I like this in the middle of the dungeon the waiting room like you waiting to go to the dentist or something like that. They just decided to put this here. Put a little plot. Uh, pot. Oh my god. Uh, can you not? I'm trying to be funny. Oh look, she's giving us a peace sign as she died. Yeah. See you in the afterlife, bitch. Steel boots again. Could probably go for a pretty penny. Steel warhammer could probably go as well, but I feel like that's going to be such a... A hassle to carry around. Maybe it'd be better just to leave leather armor behind and take like important things. Um, 
such as steel weapons. I imagine those probably sell for more. That helmet is only a plus three, but it's the Skyrim... The Skyrim helmet, so I feel a little betrayed by that, but... Yes, yeah, so I do admire the potted plant they put there. Someone went to a college for interior decorating, and they just could not stand the idea of this place not... Is this a trap? Oh. I thought the thing fell on me, but it's just... A growling imp? Okay. Let's... Let's go back. Let's do this. There we are. I don't know. Ooh. Worth 500 gold. That's very nice. Very, very, very nice. If we go to an alchemical shop, I'm sure we could sell that for quite a bit. I don't really know too much about brewing potions in this game. Never been more of an alchemy guy. Only in Morrowind have I ever used the alchemy skill to its full potential, but... Morrowind kind of requires that of you, doesn't it? I'm really not looking forward to like finding a werewolf or anything like that. This ebony dagger is gonna carry me all the way through the end of the game. The end of the game. <sighs> okay, battle mate just died. Okay, better him than me. But that does raise the question: What killed the battle mage? Hello? Ah! Well, they didn't attack me right away, so I figured maybe they were a good guy, but... The torture... Rack with the blood on it probably could have told me otherwise. To, you gotta use your, your clues. Use your senses. Okay. I don't know if you just heard that. My phone decided that was a good time to go off. I'm very professional, I swear. Just go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. Yes, yes, I'm a professional YouTuber with 39 subscribers. Please, please, do not... ...fawn over me all at once. I like that your your stuff increases as you rest. Like you trying to like keep away from all the enemies, that kind of RP that that builds. I'm gonna be real with you. I have a fear of the water, and if something pops out of this water and jump scares me, I'm gonna absolutely fucking lose it and uninstall the game. So well, let us hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. I wish you could take porches off the walls. Oh, I hear a skeleton somewhere. Sound effect for the water could be better, but... It is an old game. Can't ask too much of it. And an entertaining one, too, might I add. I'm actually having a lot more fun with this than I thought I would. Oh. Ooh. Is there someone laughing in there? A part of me wants to walk in to see what- Oh, a nymph just died! Hello? That's like a fake door. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? It's Ghost Rider! Oh my god, he's not taking any damage. He's not getting hit. He did so much damage to me. Is this a zombie? What is this supposed to be? There's like a unique type of zombie? He's, he has a lot of health. He had a lot of health. I'm not sure what that was, but that... That was a little... That was, that was something, huh? How did I get down there? Through here? That's right. Wow. I I think that was supposed to be a zombie, but... I'm not sure. I've never seen him before.
Maybe I should go in while the nymph is in there and and try to help. Like as the nymph is fighting him and he's distracted, I could come up and maybe stab him in the back. Yeah, let's go try that. Oh god, he's focusing me. Nymph. It's a nymph naked. Is it a naked woman? Am I gonna have to blur this again? That's definitely a naked woman. That's just a full-on naked woman. God damn it. And I died too. I'm gonna have to censor all of this. Is there not like a like a no nudity button? Where where where? Controls. Advanced, maybe? Alright, well. A little bit of editing won't hurt me, I imagine. Although I was hoping to just get this out without really have to do too much editing, so. Alas, what could you do? It was the old days, man. This is when they had, like, half-naked women on the covers of Dungeons & Dragons manuals, so it's not like I can really fault them for putting in just straight-up naked women in their game. It's, you know. I wonder if anyone's ever, um, pleased themselves to that these models. I'm sure back in the old days. And what else was there? Like, what, what was there to do? Oh, I get a couple more hits like that. It's def It's just a zombie. It was just a zombie. Stop! Back, winch! It was like a blow-up doll. What's wrong with her? Please. Please, don't let her hit me and kill me. Please. We just got the zombie. Come on, game. Don't get distracted by her boobs. Hit her. Alistair. I know it's been a long time since you've seen a woman. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, let's... Let's save. Alright, we're good. Man. And there was e nothing even back here. It was completely empty. I just came in here and did all that for nothing. I just, you know. I just wanted to get involved in a domestic. I wanted to make it about me. And mission accomplished. Nothing here. No secret trap doors or anything like that. Just comes to an abrupt end, huh? See, I feel like I have a good gauge for when there might be a trap door. Oh, okay, that was that door closing. Okay. I got really excited there for a minute. I thought that I... I did it. Like, I unlocked it. Here, a skeleton somewhere. That's great. You know, it's crazy that the undead are so powerful in this game. I wonder if it'd do any good to hit them with a silver weapon. Or something along those lines, if you know what I mean. Like, maybe Silver has some kind of magical capability. I think that in Dungeons and Dragons, that's the case. That if you strike an undead with a particular weapon, uh, Silver, that it does extra damage to them. But I could just be misremembering. I'm going to keep this door open because it helps me keep track of where I've been, though. I don't think I'll ever forget the water room. Particularly because now that that noise has stopped, I can actually start thinking again. Where haven't we been? We haven't really explored over here. Oh, oh, there's an... Oh, I can note. Oh. Well, would you look at that? That's handy, huh? I'll just put another one over there. Been here already. Naked woman and zombie. Cool. Okay, because you... Okay, cool. So you can remove notes. That's That's actually really handy. So now I shouldn't get lost. Keyword shouldn't, but I I will find a way, most likely. The damn over there. I should probably go take care of it before I open the door. <laughs> Fuck your spell, idiot. You guys always got a lot of gold on them. Well, not a lot, but like always carrying more than I would imagine a little imp to carry. There was an attempt on her end, and I'll give her that. Oh, a common symbol. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. I'm not sure what a common symbol 
can do. I know that certain magic items, or certain items can be magically enchanted. And I don't know if it's a good idea to just put on a random amulet that I've found. Is there any way I can look at what it is? No. Nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quick before I just slap on one amulet just to be safe. You never know when it could be a cursed object. I mean, games back then used to love doing that shit to you. Oh, I can't even I can't even do that. No, oh, no, I want it, I want it, but oh, huh. interesting. I guess I'll have to go to a local temple or the mages go after this and try to identify it. Or probably a hefty sum. So let us make sure that we grab as much gold here as we can. Alistair, while he may look regal and noble, he is not made of gold or septums. There's another fucking zombie. I hate life. Stop. Ooh. Oh my god. Why was it so hard the first time? Let us quick save again. And we'll rest once more. I, I'm always so nervous when I heal like that because it passes time and I always worry that I may miss out on like, the main story quest because I'm fucking around too much in dungeons and exploring. But, I mean, that's part of the game. It's a delicate balance to make sure that you... Is that an orc? What is that? Oh my fucking god! That was an... Excuse me? Since when could you do that? Oh fuck! Oh, I'm okay. I'm good. I just spell saved a... A fireball hitting me straight in the stomach. You know, nothing... Nothing crazy. That's fine. Right, so... Good to know that enemies can spell save against fireballs, because I was planning on learning how to... Oh, you're not a... You're not an orc. I thought you were an orc. The green was misleading. Sadly, we can't pick up too much armor, which, again, is a shame, but that's the reason we're saving up for a horse and cart. So one day when we come through here, we can grab as much loot as we can possibly carry. Any moment now, this guy will die. Battle Mage just died. I wasn't talking about him, but... That's pretty cool he did it for me anyways. Saves me the hassle. I hate that it says there are enemies... You know, I've seen a lot in there. Oh, what the... Oh! Sorry, sorry. I... I'm sure that sounds like I'm, I'm hamming it up, but... Ooh, an Elven Battle Axe. I'm just really jumpy with these kind of games, and I have no idea why. I think it's the old style that the game looks. Wait, am I equipping this? I don't want to equip it. I want to I want to drop it. We'll take that. Elven stuff sells for a lot as far as I'm I'm I know, I guess. I don't know why I kept saying I'm and then pausing. I had to think about it. it takes me a minute for my brain to catch up. All my attention and powers being diverted to this game and surviving in this hellhole that I've thrown myself willingly into. Knock knock. It's Knuckles. Dude, these imps are just so willing to just throw hands with you. They have no fear. Oh, a scarab. A weird thing to be having out here, don't you think? Alright, so I think I'm back at the crossroads now. Oh no, this is a different crossroads, right. Okay. Again, the dungeons are very, very big in this game, so... It is a learning experience. Though I do love the idea of your character, especially like Alistair and all them kind of... I don't know if I all of them, like there was someone else here, but... Holy shit, she unloaded on me! 
he was angry about something. I don't I don't know what, but Can we take this off and put this one on instead. Let's see what this looks like. You know what? I feel like we look lame as shit, but we're gonna keep it. We're going to keep it. And we're gonna drop uh pain armor because I want to pick up this elven battle axe you know what we're gonna drop the warhammer because it's taken up so much as well and I feel like it's not gonna sell nearly as much as like the elven things that we've been finding around I could be completely wrong who knows but elven stuff man people love it people love elves can't get enough of it is this the exit what the hell is this is this a spider catacomb? Spider door? What is this? It's like a teleporter, maybe? Okay, well, I'll put a note here. Teleporter door? Alright, well, feel free to sound off in the comments if you made it this far and you know what that is. Is, uh, I certainly do not. This girl's gonna kick my ass, isn't she? No, she almost did. I really wish I had... <laughs> Excuse me. I had a healing spell. Oh my god, there's two of you! Back? I don't even know what I picked up there. I kind of just started clicking. Ooh, a still Tanto. Pretty cool. Still pretty bummed that the Skyrim helmet's only plus three. Definitely feels like it should have been more. Missed opportunity there. I also should probably go repair my weapons when I get back into town. I need to make a note about that somewhere. I need to make a lot of notes. I need to go visit the Mage's Guild. I need to buy a wagon and a horse. I need to go and visit the Royalty in Daggerfall, Sentinel, and Wayrest. I need to repair my armor. Thankfully, with all this gold that I'm getting, that shouldn't be too big of an issue. Maybe the horse and carriage will be because that costs... I, I cannot stress to you enough how much that costs. I'm gonna just open that door somewhere. Is it over here? Oh fuck it's a zombie. I'm dead. That did he just one hit kill me? Was that a zombie or was that a superhero? Wait, when did it, which one's the most recent save here? I think this is Yeah, this is this is definitely the most recent save, I think. Okay, cool. All right, let's beat down this door again. Uh, I had, I have no idea why that zombie immediately killed me. I guess armor is just for show when it comes to fighting the undead. Oh, I should have just been a necromancer at this point, to be honest. I could just raise the dead and have them do my bidding, and they're that strong. Why do anything else? It's either that or I'm extremely fucking weak. I think I had full health. Maybe I maybe I lost some more health to this guy than I thought I did. Okay, let's quick save and try this again. He's, he's definitely faster. Or at least he feels faster. Oh no, he hits hard. Right, so zombies are nothing to be messed with. Maybe I need to get a spell that's like uh, repel undead or something like that. Knowing that these guys are my mortal weakness. Let 
I'm sure the people in Daggerfall and Wayrest and Sentinel right now are expecting me to show up, and I haven't been there in a number of days. The lady saw me take off from the town and head the complete wrong direction and just assumed I'd be fine. Little did she know that I was going to be repelling an undead horde. Oh my god, this dungeon. But there, this door's... It's not even a door. The door's been broken down. And it keeps going down. Oh my god. Am I in some kind of, like, undead crypt? There's no way. This place is called King's Hole. What kind of fucking king's been living here? At this point, I'm expecting every door to have a zombie behind... Excuse me? Oh, something's fighting someone else. We'll let them... Let them deal with that. We're gonna make a, another save. Zombie hold. There we go. Very clever. This, uh, what is this? Okay. An imp just died. Sounds like there's a zombie over here. Perhaps. I heard it die. I don't know if there's a... Trap door. A secret door leading anywhere. Back there, but... If there is, I have not seen it, so... Maybe there's a different path leading somewhere. I'll do one more sweep of it just to be sure because I didn't really test it. But I feel like with this kind of slanted wall, it means there's not going to be any secret doors. That liquid sound concerned me. I thought it was going to be like a goo that I had to go fight or something. I'm not sure if it's because I'm a Breton, but I'm so glad I'm saving all these spells. I shudder to know what they would do to me. Okay, let's do another heal, because I'm, I'm a coward. If I'm not at full health every five minutes, then I fear my untimely death. Alistair's just cautious, that's what it is. Alistair's been through many advent adventures before this, so he understands... The benefit that comes from being... See? For example, right there. Never mind. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. The silly game we play. But I have imagined that Alistair would probably be somewhat of a... Somewhat of a well-known adventurer at this point. Perhaps not to the common populace, but... Like I said before, to the nobility at the very least, he has done a handful of jobs, but nothing to the extent of dungeon crawling, like like we're doing right now. This is still kind of new to him. Oh. Oh, I was hoping to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I was hoping to get some more backstabs in there. There we go. It all worked out in the end. This guy was a brave hero. Died for my cause. Truly a fan. Elven Broadsword. Not bad. And don't mind if I do. He's probably traveled around the province of High Rock, maybe a bit of the Imperial Province as well. Probably more of the Imperial Province, considering nobility and wealth is more what he's seeking than being a good guy, but. He does have morals. He's not going to go kill someone because the price is right. Nor will he steal from the poor or those who are of his patrons. Basically, a pretty boring guy if you're going to look at him comparatively to some of the more wacky. Adventurers out on the... Uh, the different provinces. Strange that they don't have like a cross or anything like this on it. It's like um an ankh, I think is what that's called. 
a more of an Egyptian vibe, and they also gave me like a scare of not too long ago. I wonder if that's for anything in particular, or if that's maybe at the time. When, when did this come out? Was this still during the Satanic Panic of like Dungeons and Dragons and such? Because if so, I can understand why they probably wouldn't want to put a cross on it. So let us see here. Where are the different paths that we can go and that we haven't been? So we come from there. Right, so if we go down this hallway and we go up this direction, uh, we can put a little note here. Been here before, just kind of as like a little check mark. That way when we open the map we can see a little crystals and know which places we've explored to the extent. So I guess I probably should have put a note at the, the entrance, shouldn't have I? I guess all this other stuff doesn't really matter. Oh wait, no, that shows us the entrance, doesn't it? I'm going to assume that's probably the entrance. Green normally means good, so I'm just going to go with that mentality. and Quick save again, because I'm terrified. Ah, as I should be. My favorite. Zombies. And they really uh, toned down the zombies in um, Oblivion and... Sk I'm dead. Oblivion and Skyrim compared to Daggerfall and Morrowind. Though, in Morrowind, it's more so the bone... Um, I can't remember what the name of them are called. Something bone, but those guys in particular. I feel like having the upper... The high ground... Gives me a little bit of a benefit here, but I don't know if that's true or not. Considering I'm missing every swing now. There we go. Potion of Shadow Form. I imagine that's probably like a chameleon spell. There are enemies nearby. Yes, and it does sound like a zombie. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Oh, I'm waiting for the zombie to find me. Why did my health go down there for a minute? That took me way longer than it normally does. You feel somewhat bad. Do I have a sickness in me? Like Uganda. Or... Well, I'm definitely going to have to go to a temple and get cured of something now. Probably got like mummy rot or some crazy shit. I don't know. Anything I picked up in this dungeon can't be good. When 12 hours, I'm going to turn into a zombie. Oh god, what if that's the case? What if it's like they bite you and then you get... Oh, I hope that's not the case. That's going to be horrendous if that's true. Right, so we should probably hurry up our exploration then. Because I... Do not want to be a zombie. No zombie, please. Maybe the game will hear my pre, uh, my plea, <laughs> my pre. Sure hope the game doesn't hear that. I want to know I like it that much. Or perhaps it will hear my plea for no zombie and spare me such an unfortunate demise. Can only hope. Not getting much in terms of iron armor. <laughs> Excuse me again. Sorry. And and the like. Kind of what I was hoping more so for, but wigs from the northern reaches is not bad as well. I can work with that, I suppose. Where am I? Uh, the age-old question for dungeon crawling in Daggerfall. Where am I? Ah, I've done a loop. Have I completed this dungeon then? I suppose I probably have. Considering I've looped back around again. Uh, no, there's this whole section over here, actually. Uh, is this connected? It is. It is. Very, very nice. Looks like this is just a hallway that I haven't explored yet, but... I 
hear another zombie. Oh, fuck me. Please don't send two zombies at me at once. Oh, I can only take so much. Oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to bust a nut there when I died. I, I was holding my breath. Right, so I probably should have quick saved. I was thinking about that in the back of my head, but I was like, I won't die. Foolish. Absolutely foolish of me. Alright, so there's nothing in here again. Okay, I, I know how far back we are now. Not, not by too much, not by too much. Merely a setback. Grab my, my twigs. Get out of here. It's gold. I think gold costs weight. Right, let's quick save. There we go. If gold has a weight to it, then I'm going to be... You know what? It does. I know it does. It's Daggerfall. Of course it has a weight to it. There's also a banking system in this game, which I find very, uh, interesting. I don't know. I don't know why you want to use the banking system. I think you could probably maybe deposit and then like over time your money, you know, get interest from it or whatever. I, I have no idea. I know we went straight forward last time, but I'm going to go explore up here in the hopes that there's no more zombies. Ah, well. My hope has been shattered. Oh, God. I keep trying to dodge, but I'm not quick enough. There we go. I can hear something else going on as well. Yeah, I didn't think I could save. Oh, I hope that's not a terrible mistake I just made. Oh, please, enemies. Please stop being nearby. I hate my life. Oh, it's an imp. Okay, we're good. I'd rather an imp than a zombie. Not words I thought I'd say, but... I stand by them. Yeah, we're definitely not healing as much as we normally do now. We're... We're sick. We're in, we're infected with something. We're gonna die soon. I don't know from what or what it is, but we're gonna die. Yeah, I don't know if that's also true, but being the wor okay, being the worry wart that I am, I always assume that if something bad is here and it's a disease in a fantasy game, that it means instant death. Ooh, why me? What the fuck did I do? Fight that thing over there. I think shooting fireballs at you and you're worried about me? I don't even have a, a ranged weapon. Imp just died. See if we can heal just a little bit longer. Okay. That's what I expected. Ooh. Let's see if we can get them to come to us. Fool. Okay. Yeah, we're 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 definitely not doing okay. I don't know what our sickness is, but we should probably stop being here and maybe go out and uh try to cure it first and foremost. But I am not one to leave a dungeon unconquered. So we're gonna die here instead. Hopefully you can just sleep off sicknesses. That'd be pretty cool. Sorry, I keep trying to like decide if I want to do a a full save or if I want to do like a quick save. Because if I get stuck in a particular situation where I can just keep dying over and over, I might soft lock myself. And I'm not sure what this disease does, and I don't want it to annihilate me somehow. Like if I'm not quick enough to go get it healed, then I just insta die, and the game's over. Because old games will do that to you. Guy had a whole tongue on him. 
Jesus. I always jump. It's a good thing I don't have like a webcam or anything. Oh, a still left pauldron. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead and drop this flail. No, I don't want to do that. Do that. Cool. Okay. Very nice. At least we got some new armor now. No. Did the wrong thing again. There we go. And let's drop the... Let's see. These are chain boots. We don't want chain armor anymore. Or leather. I don't know why I have that. I can only imagine that those will not sell as much as others. Right. What else did I have on them? Some green leaves. Very cool. I can make myself some tea after this. If I'm not coughing up my own blood. Even more reason to enjoy the little things in life. Let's go check this way, because that leads down. I'm kind of curious. Ah, is that another zombie I hear? This place sucks. <laughs> Probably not the best first dungeon to go to right after. I thought it was a blessing, but it was a curse in disguise. Probably would have been better just exploring around. Potion of Purification. Now... Purify my sickness? We... That, that's good. I don't know if that's like a cure disease, just like a fancy way of saying it, which if it is, then amazing. I will take that after I complete the dungeon because I don't want to take it now and then end up getting the disease again. So we're going to definitely wait till we're out of this dungeon. We've explored it to our art's content. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know how loud that was. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is supposed to be a relaxing playthrough, and I'm over here getting jump scared by a game from like the ye old ages. What the fuck is wrong with me? Good thing I didn't stream this right now, I'm gonna be honest. Though I guess if I'm uploading it to YouTube, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Sorry, I hope that didn't blow out anyone's ears. You'll have to forgive me. I'm kind of a bitch. I don't want you to find out this way, but I can't. I can't keep the truth. Yeah, you know what? We need to. We need to take this potion. I don't know if it's the right thing, but we're barely even healing. I'm invisible. What? That was what purification did. It makes me invisible. Huh? Oh, invincible. You know what? It might have said invincible. Oops. Probably not the best place to have taken this, but... At least we know next time... That... Do not waste that potion. And it seems that I am entirely healed. Hopefully of... The sickness as well. Whatever that might have been. Uh, right. Okay, so that leads down to nowhere. Oh, no, I don't want to do a note. I have a really old mouse, so it double clicks a lot by accident. I can't really stop it. I guess we're probably good to get out of here now, at this point. Since there's nothing back there. Let's see, where is the exit? The exit is down there, so let's... We need to go all the way around. Okay. We'll do it one step at a time, because I'm going to get confused if I try to do it all at once. But this is the reason you need to spell Mark and Recall, which is what I was going to pick up from the Mages Guild. It basically allows you to put in... Well, I guess Recall is just what the spell is. Mark is from Morrowind, excuse me. But it allows you to put down a, a little rune at the start of the dungeon, or wherever you wish. And then, whenever you wish to return to it, you just use the spell again, and it takes you back. 
So it's really useful for dungeon crawling. Because once you're done, rather than having to run all the way back to the entrance, you can... Oh, fuck me. You don't. You can't do that. You can't fuck me, but... You can teleport back. Without any hassle. I feel like I'm selling an infomercial. Uh, what if it gave me that again? Could you imagine if it just gave me the sickness again? Okay, we, we, we're definitely, yes, we're fine. Sickness, gone. There we go. If any of you knew what sickness that could have been or disease that I got, feel free to sound off in the comments. I, I'm kind of curious, actually. If it was of anything of vast importance, like, because <laughs> it, it was not letting me heal there for a minute. So I imagine it could possibly kill you. Like I said earlier, anytime you get a disease in a fantasy world, there's a 100% chance that it just immediately kills you. See, I think this is the right way. Yes. I hope it wasn't going to turn me into a zombie or anything like that, or like... I guess I could have went to a city, and maybe I would have looked, um... Like a ghoul or something like that, like my eyes were yellow now, or... So forth and so on. That'd been pretty cool. I missed the spot I was supposed to go at. Yes, okay. Again, what a 3D map is pretty cool. It's really hard to, to understand. I don't know what that spider door is either, so... Comments um, are going to have to help me out a lot, if anyone is so kind and willing. To assist the newbie in his... Okay, that zombie's gonna break down the door and kick my ass, so let's try to get out of here before that happens. Oh, we haven't been down here, so let's... Oh, what is this? Is there like a secret lever or something? I'd probably just go fight that zombie now, because I feel like he might follow me. It's interesting there's a trap door there. I wonder how you get that to open. I need to stop calling things trap doors when that's clearly not a trap door, but a gatehouse. Or just a gate. Just call it a gate. I always gotta be fancy with things. Misery of being a DM. Ooh. Wait for him to come to us. Stop. Stop being an archer. Plus three. Don't really want to wear that. Doesn't look as cool as what we have. Oh my god. They almost killed me there. They... What, is, what the hell is this? A talisman? That really doesn't look like any talisman I've seen before. Okay, so we already got some steel boots, so I don't really think we need to pick up another pair. You know, it would probably be good to sell. I wonder what a talisman does. Is it enchanted with anything? Is it how I use to cast spells? Well, it goes for 120 gold regardless, so... Either way, it's a good little hefty profit to make. I wanted to get a lot of things um, identified when we go back to town. Which, who knows when that's going to be, considering how large this dungeon is. We could be here for the next year, for all I know. And, and it's crazy to think that the dungeons are this big. Of course, like I get, they're they're generated randomly, so it's not like it's um, like too crazy. But like they're all handcrafted or something. Oh, I don't even have enough to pick up gold anymore. Oh my god. Alright, let's just drop... No, no, no. I don't think so. We'll drop the steel stuff now, because now we're looking for Elven. Iron longbow. Chain boots. Uh, we can take a, a bow and arrow. Wouldn't hurt us. Uh, but right, so even though the dungeons are randomly generated and such like that, it's still pretty crazy that every single dot that you see on that map 
hell of a scream. I don't know if that picked up on the mic, but that guy's death agony scream was... Okay. What's going on here? I see an imp. Did I kill you? You're probably the only one that has anything good on you, to be honest. Yeah, one moment I'll 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 hit through the bars again. Holy shit, he's kicking my ass through the bars! How come he can do it, but I can't? Okay, well. That's a little embarrassing. Out of everything to die in this dungeon, the, the battle mage locked inside of a cage is the one to do me in. Oddly fitting somehow, I feel like. All the trials Alistair has accomplished. The man locked behind bars that puts him through. I guess I could practice my archery now, couldn't I? Kind of fucked up, but... Who's gonna tell? Wait, where's my... Oh. Okay, I'm somehow missing. This is, this is interesting. I guess maybe it's it's still like um, a dice roll. I don't think I have my archery set to something really high either, so I might just be wasting arrows at this point. I thought those chains were a person and I almost screamed. Alright, let us try again. Die, you, you beast! Oh my god, he's so strong! Dragon scales! Worth it. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm gonna tell myself it was. down another door. Okay, kind of a weird thing to lock. Out of all the doors in this dungeon, the one where they put the choir benches is not one that I would have thought been locked. But that's fine. And then this is the other spot that we haven't been before. So this is the exit. Yes, 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 yes. Let us look up. Now, citizens of Dalaran. Feast your eyes upon the heavens. Alright, so there's definitely more stuff in here, but I, I I feel like we've done enough. With what little we have, um, in terms of like storage capacity and also spells, I think we've we've, we've seen enough. Hello, cat. The ground vibrates underfoot. It's a little scary. What about here? What is what's in here? Is this a dungeon? No fucking way. Wait, what? This is the dungeon again, but but different. Wait, we just did this dungeon. The whole map's still here. Why? Huh? The dungeons restart every time you. Wait, how did I get? All right, there's some witchcraft going on here, and I'm not gonna stand for it. So we're gonna go back to Daggerfall. And we're going to go sell off all of our goods now. So let's go to F4. Put our stuff away. What is this? Sworn enemies. Agents of the Underking. Okay. Right, so the King's Ferry. We got Bedadorin's Bed Quality Retail Store. Might be a good place to start. I wish I could pronounce the name, or not pronounce the name of the people around this part, but to expect much of me is a, a silly mistake. I'm gonna have to go and see if there's a setting I can turn on that turns off the nudity in this game.
feel like I need to also look into that as well. This game has given me an extreme list to, to go through. I really don't want to do it at a general store or like sell at a general store. Because I feel like they're going to rip me off. And I like having my stuff not ripped off. So we're going to go to a an actual blacksmith of sorts. And we're going to sell our goods there instead. But I want to go and see what this place is. I went the wrong direction. What this place is. Because this could just be a weapon smith or an armor smith. And if that's the case, that would help us tremendously. Because then we wouldn't have to run across the map to go find one. We'll go to the one that we've been to before. Uh, what the hell is this? What is this place? The Superior Used Merchandise. Okay, well, I mean, we can try to sell our stuff here. I mean, the name gives me the impression that maybe they'll give me a good, a good price. Two thousand two hundred and forty-eight gold. Should we just take this price? Honestly? I feel like we can maybe get like somewhere to 3,000 on the next one. Like if we went to an actual um, store, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling lazy to be honest. Like, I really don't want to run to the next store and... Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try to be good this time. Like, I don't know why I said I'll try to be good. What I meant to say is I'll try to actually maximize the game a bit. Not that I haven't already. Remember that the Superior store gave us 2,000 something, so we're gonna go check what one of these other stores might give us. Uh, the Quality Equipment store almost sounds like a place that you would probably get armor at, but we're gonna go to the Mail store. We always have a bit more luck when we talk to actual merchants that sell armor and weapons to you rather than... What is this? This must be uh, a church of some sort, yeah? Oh my god! I love it here! This is what religion is and sign me up! Oh shit, what the hell? Oh damn, they fucking it up! Those guys do not like it though. They're not having fun, but... Uh, talk. Who are you? Where, where am I? I'm, I'm gonna go. The Temple of Kinnereth. Really? I would have thought that would have been... You know what? Kind of terrified to see what the Temple of the Bella looks like. Maybe that's what our ending thing will be today. <laughs> to go see if there's just... <laughs> the Temple of the Bella is just a brothel in the uh, disguise. Alright. Let's see what this guy gives us. I feel like every time I record an episode, my uh, ability to speak English disappears rapidly. Okay, that was the General Smithy. Let's see what this guy gives. So this is the guy we sold to last time, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's more or less, but... It's 2,000 regardless. I feel like the glass guy gave us 2,700, didn't he? Okay, so this guy's 2,300. I know this is probably not the most riveting thing to witness right now, but... Please bear with me. Trust me, in the long run, this will pay off. Every little bit of gold that we can get... ...is... ...amazing. It's not like in Skyrim, but it, like with the time you're done with it, you're... The millions in the gold count for the most part. Well, I guess not anymore now that you can sink gold into a house and such, but after that construction, if you continue questing and such, you can get an insane amount of gold. Another game I think I want to play is Diablo 2. 
I've never played the Diablo, like the older Diablo games. I've only played Diablo 3, and that was not a very fun of experience, to be honest. Okay, so the guy last time gave us more, but whatever. I don't care. Smuggling is a nasty word, isn't it? I prefer to say I need some legally ambiguous stuff brought to a place. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't... No. I do not think so. Oh, shit. Gauntlets actually exist. Who would have thought? So this is another thing that's pretty interesting um, with this game, is that in order to buy stuff, you don't talk to the merchant himself. You talk to the... I guess don't talk to them, but... You go to the shelves. There's no fucking way that a book called Jokes is worth 1,000 gold. Those better be the funniest jokes I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm not going to get it, but if you guys sound off in the comments and tell me that I desperately need to see the jokes book, then I'll... I'll, uh... I'll spend money and <laughs> waste a thousand gold on a joke book. But it's self-written by that guy, too. He seems like the type. He's getting into that old age now, and he just kind of wants to leave a mark on the world. And the brilliant idea of a joke book pops into his head. He'll write down all the jokes he's heard over the years of his life. However long that might be. Okay, so let's see if this person sells a, a horse and wagon. Ah, they do. Ah, and it's, you know what? It's not, not that bad, actually. Is there a way that I can barter with you? Oh! There we go. So now we got ourselves a horse. And a wagon. So this is really important. Because now, rather than having to put all of our loot into our inventory and carry it around and hope that we don't get over encumbered, we can instead put it into the wagon and have our horse carry it. And now we can also travel from place to place using our horse. I think a horse is... let's see. What is what is the button to get on my horse? Uh, transport T. There we go. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so before I end this episode, because we think we're coming up on, you know, we've already passed the two hour mark. At least on my recording. We're going to go buy the Mage's Guild, and I'm going to buy the spells I want. We're going to go talk to the Daggerfall Royalty. And then we're going to go visit the Temple of the Bella. I think there is one around here. And we shall call it there after witnessing what may just be paradise on earth to some, not all. And then I need to go and <laughs> figure out how to turn off nudity. Save myself. Here we are. Is what I would say if the Mage's Guild decided to open up ever, but sadly, today, they do not wish to. Uh, local temples. Oh, so the Temple of Kinnereth is the only one that's here in the in Daggerfall, which makes our our list a little smaller. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Alright, then we will go to a royalty. And we will see if we can understand a little bit more about the Emperor's untimely... Not the Emperor, but the uh, the King's untimely demise. And his need to haunt the citizens of Daggerfall. Music stopped, makes me think... It, oh, never mind. 
going to say, I thought it meant that it was night now, that the, the music stopped, but it just had a loop. I wonder how they made the music in Daggerfall. Like, I know, like, a lot of music nowadays is, um... That's pretty cool. Look at that, huh? Magic. I think it's done electronically, but... No, that's not the case, because I think Elden Ring has a, a real orchestra that makes the, uh, the music, but... I wonder how many games nowadays use a real orchestra, and if Daggerfall used... One. I, I don't know how big Bethesda was the company at this point. They could even afford to have real instruments be used in the real band to play. So let's get back on foot. And let us enter the castle now. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of embarrassing how long these loading screens take. really need to up my computer at some point. One day. Right. All are free to petition his highness at this time. Do not stray from the audience chambers, lest ye have royal blessing to do so. Always speak politely to the king and queen, and above all, cast no spells while within these walls. Do ye agree with these terms? Uh, yeet. I like that they let you do that. I think that's a cool little touch. Makes it a little bit more immersive. I didn't mean to press that. I'm going to press this. Hello! It's really too bad, Alistair. I have a special assignment that requires someone I trust, such as yourself. However, it also needs someone of greater skill in order to survive. Come back to me when you visit. Uh, come back and visit me when you've improved your skill some more. Greetings, King. Uh, what is it that I need to talk to you about? Kind of an embarrassing thing to say. Talk to the King and then... Forget what I came here for. Alright, so let me look at my quest log real quick. Minor letter, uh, let's see. If I'm to investigate the mystery of Lysandus' ghost, I should start by speaking with the royal families of these fiefdoms. Okay, is there. Tell me about. Oh, there's a lot, huh? Knights of Order, the Knights of Iron. There's a lot of knights of things, huh? Any news? A feat to the Order of the Cup. Not really the order I think I'd want to be a part of. The Order of the Lamp. I mean, they're just getting mundane objects now and calling themselves orders, huh? The Order of the Lily. Knights of the Will. I guess it's round, so it kind of counts. Whatever. Huh. I don't really see anything that I can talk to these guys about. Maybe I need to go to Wayrest or Sentinel first. That might be uh, a bit more... Uh, no. I wish to leave. Right. Very well, then. We shall go to Wayrest. Uh, is Wayrest not here? Maybe... What, what do I need to talk to them about? What did they, what did they say? Because I don't want to do this and then realize that I was actually at the right place and I just messed up. If I'm to investigate the mystery of Lysandus' ghost, I should start by speaking with the royal families of these fiefdoms. Alright, so that was that was a king. I mean, that's definitely the royal family, unless there's someone else in there that I didn't I didn't spot. The queen said I couldn't help her, because I don't I'm not strong enough, I'm not cool enough. Story of my life. Who are you? Lady Bridwell. Uh, do you have any work for me? No? Okay. Right. Alright. I think I said her name was Lady Birdwell, but I think I meant Bridwell. I don't know. 
I just always assume that I said the name wrong. I'm not very good with names. Alright then, let us see. There's a kid causing things to... I don't know what that is. I don't know what they're doing, but it's kind of freaking me out. Is there anyone here that is of royal blood other than the king? Like maybe any nobles that can assist? You found Castle Daggerfall. You were in it. Oh. That's good to know. Keeping me sane. Okay, so let, let us zoom out. Let's see. Sentinel's down there. Where is Wayrest? I'm going to assume that Wayrest is a province. Ah, there we go. Wayrest. So, if I was in Wayrest, where would I... Way rest, way rest. There we go. Holy shit! Oh, never mind. Okay, it's 585. Ooh, a lot though. Maybe I can go there and um. Here, let's let's do this first. Let's let's save. Let's write down way rest. That way, in case I fuck up somehow, we can just reload. Now let's go to Wayrest. And we'll do a we'll do a cute little dungeon there. <laughs> I don't know why I called it cute. We'll do a dungeon there. As well. That way we can kind of make our gold back, yeah? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's zoom out of this major city and see if we can figure out where the castle is. I easily found it. First place I set my eyes upon. I thought I just ran over the cat there for a minute and I was about to cry, but I do believe that we are okay. This is interesting. A little crypt area. I know that can be one of the dungeons. I wonder if we can enter there. If there's like a... Now they have a gravekeeper there. There's no way there's undead patrolling about. I we'll think just go to a local dungeon and... Oh, is this the Mage's Guild? Ooh, they really hate me. Am I just not smart enough? Like, what's wrong with them? My intellect is pretty high. It's them, not me. I'm convinced. Every time that music stops, it's just long enough to make me guess that... That it's night now, and I, uh... Sorry about that, I had to take a sip of my water. Um, that it's night now, and I should go find a room before I get, m like, murdered and mugged. Okay, let's see. What temple is this? This is a temple. Ah, oh, this is fancy. What is this? Julianos? The Order of the Hour. My. Hell of an order. Yes, every hour of the hour, we celebrate. We're kind of bad bitches. Local temple. So that's the only one that you have is the... Okay. Cool. So let's go ahead and go look at the royal family up in Wayrest now. I like this big open plaza they kind of have going on here. It's really cool. I wish I could see it better if it wasn't foggy, but... Weather does not wait for good views. Uh, no, I don't wish to wait. I wish to get off my horse. There we go. Alright. Let's go see if anyone in here needs any help. Oh, you know what? This looks a little spookier than the one in Daggerfall, but that's okay. Maybe it's the giant pits. Not pits. Spikes coming up from the ground. Hello. Ed Wastir Bucking House. A lot of bucking houses in this game, I've noticed. Oh, it, oh, hey, it's uh, Queen Berenzia. You're going to be in a book one day. Right, so... King Edwir. Uh, people. Is there, like, a way that I can tell me about... 
Crusaders, the host of the House of the Bella, the Knights of Hawk, Benevolence of Mara. Look, the important things would be. Probably be polite as well, because I mean, this is. This is the king, isn't it? Nothing, huh? Be regional? I must be doing something wrong. Blades, the Dark Brotherhood, the Mages Guild, the Under King. That's kind of spooky, isn't it? Let's learn about the Under King. The Under King may be nothing more than a myth, but his minions are very real. The common people with Hamriel definitely believe in the Under King and fear him greatly. Someone else might have the full story. Okay. Not quite the info dump I was hoping for, but. Yes, uh, you kind of look, you messed up your makeup a little bit there, but go off, I guess. Do you have any knowledge on any of these? Anything interesting, I mean, like, you know, anything that progresses my... Who are you? Oh. I feel like these are the people I'm supposed to be talking to, but I'm not strong enough. Yeah, okay, we're not skillful enough, apparently, so... I think that means it's time to go and crawl through some more dungeons. And fuck some shit up. Uh, normally, I would probably call the episode here, but to be honest with you... I'm kind of addicted right now. And I want to... Okay, so these are the only dungeons they have. Wow. All right. Um. Ah. What is this dungeon called? The Garing Tombs. A lot of cemeteries around here. I'm noticing. Are they all cemeteries? Well, that sounds cool. The Copperfield. Uh, the Copperfield Vaults. Can we? Yes. 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 Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter if we go on foot or ship. Alright. Ah! Who would have thought? It's still a cemetery. And here I was hoping to avoid that. After one zombie invasion, I was kind of not looking for another, but... The undead and I seem to have a really precarious relationship. Very toxic. And thus, once more, I must plunder the depths. So. Even though it's going to make it harder for me to edit later on, I'm going to give you guys another hour with me. I know, I know, I know. You guys don't have to thank me. It's okay. Another hour of excellent content. Playing Daggerfall. I really need to buy a torch, don't I? Look, what's wrong with this rat? Why is it scared of me? Hopefully it's not, like, completely unwatchable due to it being dark. Um, again, if it is, feel free to let me know in the comments. That's the only way I can know. And I will buy a torch or something like that next time around, and we can remedy that problem. Though I should probably just do it regardless if you guys tell me that it's, uh, it's too dark or not. Especially with these walls right now, it's... Oh, they're, they're beating it down for me. Very well. Why do the hard work when someone else can do it for you? Speaking of which, I really need to get like a YouTube editor at some point. A thief in the catacombs. A tale as old as time. The plus six helm, not bad. Not good, but not bad. 
A holy candle. Is there uh, any chance I can maybe use that as a... You light the holy candle. Okay. You douse the holy candle. You light the holy candle. Does that make it brighter around me? This music in here is kind of loud, huh? I probably should have bought a lantern. I saw that earlier and I didn't think anything about it, but that's probably what I really want. Not a torch, a lantern of some kind. Very well. Oh, and I still didn't get that fucking spell yet. Oh my god, chat. Not chat. Guys, why didn't you tell me? You can tell I'm used to streaming. Sorry, comments. I, I swear that never happens. Subscribers, I swear. I don't I don't know who chat is. I've never heard of them before. Alright, this is a really small dungeon. Uh no, I wanna go. Yes, there we go. Perhaps that was just one of the entrances? Or maybe there was like a You know what, I'll go back and look, because I think there might be some kind of um Oh, so the enemies do respawn. Very, very interesting. So I could just get a theoretically grind out a dungeon that had like a particular type of mobs inside of it that I fancied, but I don't think there's any real purpose for that. I wish that uh, it did what Skyrim did, where um, once you completed a dungeon it would just say that it was done with. I think that's a lot more interesting, and it shows like a sense of progression as well. It's extremely nerdy to say, but I felt a big sense of pride when I... Oh my god! Thank god we came back. I felt a big sense of pride when I got a fucking still curse. Boom, bitch. Uh, but no, I feel a big sense of uh, pride when I... So all the dungeons say like completed or like whatever it says. It's always nice to go back and look at it. it shows how much how many hours of your life you wasted. I guess it's not wasting it if you had fun, huh? I think that's the thing that we need to remember. You're never truly wasting your life if you're having fun doing something. Unless it's like being mean to people or something, and then yes. Right, so let us go back to Wayrest. Because I... Ooh, going a little crazy on that. Hand flute, wherever the hell it is. Right, because I want to buy a lantern. That way we can enjoy our time in the dungeon together. Uh, my horse is going a little crazy right now. It's an inn. We might have to stop into if this is the middle of the night. Doesn't seem like it is, just the apocalypse is happening outside, that's fine. Uh, so let's repair an item. Nothing needs repaired, great. That's wonderful, actually. Sell, what's my wagon? So we're gonna sell this, this, and this. Yes, that's fine, I don't care. Uh, okay. What do you got on your shelves? What do you got in your pockets? 40, and then some oil. There we are. Let's see if they have any more oil stacked up anywhere. We do got a torch. I mean, we can we can buy it just to be safe. What do straps do? I wonder. Is there anything in particular, or is that just like random clothing? How does douse this camera? Uh, not camera. This candle. That do anything? Well, I'll put it on regardless, so. It's on me now. 
another strap. Is this extra in like inventory? Let's see. Nope. Oh, it's just random shit. Cool. Uh, we want more oil. We definitely want that. That's what I was looking for. I don't want our lantern to go out in the middle of us exploring. Damn! Alright, thank you for your service, good man. Uh, let's see. So we're over here. Kind of a bad place to put up a shop, don't you think? I don't know how many people get to this side of the city, but... I guess this is kind of like in the middle of a residential area, but regardless. Oh, now it's night. Let us... Go back to this tavern real quick. And sleep into the morning. Hello! Let's go. A room for one day, please. Four gold. I will take it. Thank you. And then we will wait here for a while. We will rest. I think we'll rest about ten hours. That sounds... You know what? That sounds good for Alistair after everything he's been through. You wake up? Yeah. I know. Okay, I'm not going to explore any of these rooms because I don't want to have to edit anymore. Wait, where's the way out? Is this the way out? Yeah, that's just... A, that's like a storage closet of some sort. Okay, a lot of real fake doors in this place. Oh my god, she scared the shit out of me. I thought that she was, like, naked. Nope. Okay, I'm not doing a good job of avoiding the naked women considering I'm opening every single door. Ah, oh, it's a stairway down. Okay. Yes, that would make sense. Wait, what? How long is the night here? How many hours is it in the night? I don't know. My sleep schedule is always messed up, so I don't know when it's day or when it's night. Today I woke up at 2 a.m. Uh, you know what? I kind of just gave away. Um... A little bit of my own intentions by peering back into that room once more. But to be fair, I wasn't sure what I saw in there. The excuse I'll use. This place is called the Gold Hedgehog. Just name it Supersonic, you weirdo. Don't play coy. Right, so... We're gonna go by the Mage's Guild. I'm gonna try to get the, the spell that I need. And then I think we may do one more dungeon. Sorry about the lag spikes there. I don't know what's doing it. Probably like the 1600 tabs I have open on Google Chrome. If I had to take a wild guess, but, you know. What do I know? I'm no Linus Tech Tips or anything like that. Be damned if I'm going to close them, though. Yeah, I'm that guy. I cannot believe how addicting this game is. Like, I I was pretty sure I was going to stop at two hours. I was like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll probably be burnt out on it by then. But two hours just came and went, and I'm uh, still craving a little bit more of this game. Might end up getting, like, a three-hour episode or maybe a four if, if I really start sinking into it. But I don't want to do too many things at once. I want to make sure to have plenty of episodes band out through the coming days because uh, I want to make sure you guys have entertainment there waiting why 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 is the I don't know, guys anyone in the comments can maybe tell me I keep asking the comments for help but like anyone can tell me why the mages guild is not uh, letting me in Why is Wayrest full of tombs? So is this like a smaller dungeon? What is this? No, that's a that's a very small pond. Very well. We shall go to the Garing Tombs. 
I don't know why I went all the way back. And we shall get more loot to sell. This time, hopefully, where we can actually see what's going on in these dungeons. Lantern on. We light the lantern. Very good. Okay. Let us go and plunder the depths. I'm not sure if that was cringy or not, but... Is the lantern on? Am I doing it? What did I just hear? Is it all these dungeons the exact same? No, no, no. Don't drop that. What are you doing? Your lantern is full. Okay, so... I definitely am having a lantern, but it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, these are all the same, huh? Maybe it'd be better to go back to Daggerfall or maybe even Sentinel and try to explore some of the dungeons. At least those are randomly generated and a little bit more exciting. I'm going to try to put on the torch and maybe that will be a little bit brighter? I can't really tell the difference, to be honest. Is that a nymph? What was that? That's a bat, I think. There we are. It was a bat. That that looks like a lot of loot. Ooh, a hundred gold, baby. That's enough to get me a trip back to Daggerfall. Not too bad. All right, cool. Let's get out of here then. I will have to go and turn up the brightness probably a little bit back in the main menu. Um, so let's go to... Wait a minute. Wait, why are all... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, you know what? I bet the reason why is because we haven't asked anyone, uh, what are homes? Like, what, are, like, what is this? The Wicker, the Wickcroft Cavern. All right, so we're here. Wait, no, wait, where are we? I'm at, okay. So to the north should be the Restless Goblin Lodge. Okay. I think there's a way that you can, um, like, actually get to that place. Oh, I think I just zoomed in. Okay, there we go. So the Restless Goblin Lodge is where I want to go. I know that you can just get on your horse and, um, go to places, but... Kind of a weird name for uh, a settlement. Hello, talk. Let's see. Oh, my poor darling. Carolasa Morton has been kidnapped by the Thieves Guild. Could you help? Thank Akatosh. Here is the Malachite the kidnaps want for ransom. If you can find a way to rescue Morton without paying the ransom, I'd be grateful. After buying that gem, my savings is entirely gone. You can, of course, have eight gold once uh, Carolasa Morton has been returned. That will make my life savings gone entirely, but it'll be worth it. The ransom must be paid. Be sure to take no more than 18 days to do it. The kidnappers have an agent over at the Master House Residency. Over an eternal redeemer of Akatosh, a bond bearded man named Agrir Wixton. Once 18 days have passed, he will send word to his friends. Wherever they're keeping Carlasa, Morton, and they'll kill her. Please don't let that happen. Good luck, friend. Oh, shit. Okay. So, I need to go... The Eternal Redeemer of Akatosh. Is that a is that a name of a place? What the hell? 
These names over at this place is a little, uh, a little much, huh? It's like, name it Timothy, or, I don't know, Dimby, or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I need this. Can you mark, can you mark it on my map? Thank you. You know what, this is not a very big place, I don't know why I kept asking them to give me... I just wanted to be sure is all. I'm probably still going to walk into the wrong house. I walked out. I walked into the door, and then right back out. You're not the person I'm looking for. Unless you shaved your beard. I don't know. Hello? Okay. The poop cabinet. Not what we're looking for. I think it might be this house. You have a name like Mastercroft? It probably is this house. Hello? Ah, oh, you look at the man that I'm looking for. I'm gonna kill you. Thieves get no money. Is this not it? Am I wrong? Is it a guy of a blonde beard? Okay. <laughs> so hard to tell like where the text is. Like when they're naming out a place. Yeah, you definitely don't look at the lady. Who are you? Or aren't you the one I'm looking for? No, that's Morton. Her name is like Morford or something horrible like that. Oh my god, I thought that guy was like a skeleton coming at me. Hello, is anyone kidnapped in here? Ah, you guys look like you have kidnapped. No offense. Oh. What? What? Oh. I really don't want to hit that guy. Okay. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why I made like a monkey noise there. I'm, I'm enthralled. There we are. Let's go ahead and put that back in the wagon so we can sell that for later. That is the steel one. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see what this letter says. Dynak Woodsley. The guild could use your muscle on a fairly routine kidnapping. Yeah, you know, fairly routine. Nothing big. The name of the victim is Carlaza Morton. And after you've taken her from our, from her home in the Green Castle... Uh, wait. After you've taken her from her home in the Green Castle and the Restless Goblin Lodge, go to Magnovius Hall. Okay, Magnovius Hall. Let us be off. We got a person to save. Mag, mag, yep, thank god. <laughs> Wasn't going to be able to type that out. Is my health regen? Okay, good. A huge bat flaps slowly overhead. As long as it's not like a Godzilla monster, I think I'll be fine. Man, this place looks nice, huh? We've been in the snow, like, 24-7, but it looks like spring's finally come. Let's quick save over Thieves Get No Money, where I'm staring down an innocent man. Right, so let us make sure that we have everything equipped. We have a torch going very well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello. I'm looking for the girl. Where is she? Oh my fucking god, it's a werewolf. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're fine. Just... We're good. 
I'm sure that was the only one. Oh! What is that? My voice can't go that high anymore. Still a little sick and recovering. One day. I'll blow out your eardrums. Ah! Hello! Quick, let's get out of here. What the fuck is that logo? Holy dagger? Man, I'm getting a lot of, like, holy stuff, huh? <laughs> For lack of a better word. Is that all there was that I went in here? I think so. It probably wasn't a very big place, yeah. Oh, well, there's, there's a downstairs. Shall we be so bold? to take the poor kidnapped girl downstairs so she can be traumatized more yes yes we shall hello if you're a werewolf you gotta say it oh so this place isn't as small as I thought it was huh is there even a turn back here, too? Yeah, there was. Oh, I'm sure we got plenty of days left. We can, we can do a little bit of exploring, a little bit of dungeon delving. What the hell was that noise? Back. Oh, I might got that lycanthropy now. My, oh, my. I think we can go get a cure. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore now. Uh, it's in the past. Where was I? Right. We're going to go traumatize her again. I don't know where the other guy came from, but I will try to stop them before they take me to Pound Town. They yank my hair and spit in my mouth. And that's a that's a big dungeon, huh? Did I go up this way last time? I think I did. I think there's two werewolves in here. Oh, it sure does look that way, huh? Is he stuck? Okay, so where did the other one come from? Oh my god, there's a trap door there. Are you kidding me? That's so cheap. Oh, that's so cheap. They knew you'd go for that treasure chest. I wonder if that's randomly done or if that's, like, actually... Oh? Uh, I fucking excuse me? Teleporting skull? Hello? <laughs> Alright, well... Don't touch skulls, kids. Stay in school and don't touch skulls. Little PSA towards you. Alright, let's, let's try that one more time. From the top. Yeah, now I'm going to F9 save because the game has traumatized me and I no longer wish to go down that path again. Alright. Ooh, I might die, this guy. No, we're good. All right, now I'm going to go back out here. Okay, I don't feel funny or itchy or anything like that.
So of all the things she could have got kidnapped by, it had to be a bunch of werewolves, huh? Like it couldn't have been like, I don't know, just normal people. Had to be something crazy. I got holy water though, that's pretty cool. Don't know what how like I can really use that, but I don't know if it's a weapon or if it's something different or Yeah, we're definitely going to need to go and get a lot of stuff looked at because I can only imagine that half of these things that we picked up are enchanted. Here we go again with this weird spider door. It has to be a teleporter towards somewhere, but I don't know how to, to activate it, really. Or if it even can be activated. Maybe it's somewhere super far away and I just... Oh, fuck off. Are you kidding me? What the hell? This dungeon's insane. Alright, I, I will do this. Teleport skull. Because I will never remember that's there. And I'll be lost down here forever. And then theoretically, if I don't return her back on time, she can become my wife. I don't think that's how that works, but... We can try. Alistair's been looking to settle down. All these werewolf shenanigans <laughs> are only making it worse. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Guys, I'm so sorry. That was on me. I didn't even jump scare again. <laughs> Alright. Um, teleport skull. Let's, let's do this one more time. I, I, how have I been jump scared like three times already? It's probably been more than three times at this point, to be honest. I don't know. That was that narrow corner of it. And it kind of hurt. Something kind of hurts. <laughs> like how quickly, like, or how hard I recoiled from that. We're okay. We'll, we'll sit here and we'll wait him out. How about that, huh? There we go. How am I already almost dead? But if I don't get lycanthropy from this, it's going to be really, like, impressive. I don't... I, I have, like, a... An inkling that I probably already have it, and the effects just haven't been... Seeped in yet, or whatever you want to call it. Gotta love the classic Daggerfall empty room with only an enemy in it. Classic, classic. I'm gonna try the lantern again just to see if it's uh, a little brighter. I feel like it would be. Oh yeah, that definitely feels brighter. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it, but... But imagine when it goes against a, a torch in terms of how well it can light up a room. Why did this door just open by itself? Jump scare? Werewolf jump scare? No? Okay. Odd. Where is this? Oh my god. We're never gonna get out of here.
All right, cool. Let's go. Uh, oh, I'm not even close to the exit. Oof. I'm gonna make this a little difficult considering the exit's like all the way up top past the teleporting skull and other nonsense. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh! It's like made out of Play-Doh. Yeah, fucking spell casting spider. Not something you would typically see in a dungeon, but typical is boring. Again, I really, uh, maybe I should have put the, the setting that they had in the game where it shows you how much time you have left rather than, um, like when you got the quest. I'm think leather's going to even sell for much anyway, so I'm just going to drop that. The plus nine helm, that'd probably be good to sell along with like the staff and everything like that. Let's see. I don't know how much the buckler is going to go for. Maybe I'll drop that. Yeah, it's a shame. If only I had that spell that I've been talking about this entire time and the mage's guild hasn't been ghosting me. It is what it is. Oh! <laughs> It must be like a poison of some sort, something like a spell. Is this the exit? Or did we just... No, 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 okay. It's close, though. The exit is close. But I don't think we're going to find like a, a path up to it. There's like some kind of hidden trap door. Secret door. But I don't think there will be. I think the only way to get around is a teleporting skull. This poor girl, she just wants to get out of here. She's been here for god knows how long. Expecting me to come and save her, but instead I'm dungeon crawling with a bunch of werewolves. I am a hero. There is no doubt about that. Oh! Also, there is a connection. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So let's put all this stuff away. Uh, no, no, there we go. Let's just go ahead and do this, just to make it a bit easier for us. So many holy items. All right, cool. And back we go. A British archaeologist. We're not done till we've plundered everything. Music kind of reminds me of um, the desert level in Super Mario 64. Like the wow, wow. Just a little bit. Uh, we haven't been down here. Werewolf around the corner. No, but I hear a rat. It's like a baby werewolf, in, in a way. Or oh, is that a bat? I think I might be hearing a bat more than I am like a werewolf. Or another werewolf of a rat. That baby werewolf is rat, and now my brain's all just gonna keep matching them together. Feel it. Dude, we were so high up when we went to that one spot, like the overhang that looked down. So this this must be a really storied dungeon.
Oh, hello. Imagine playing a Nightblade. Couldn't be me. But Mal. Uh, some more arrows, another religious item. Very nice. I wonder why the loot's all religious. I, it's kind of making me wonder if this is um, actually randomly generated or if it's some kind of werewolf cult or some sort. But if it isn't, that's amazing that I can make a story from this dungeon. To the point that I even think that it is handcrafted. It's another little thing to love about Daggerfall, I suppose. Oh my god, there's the baby werewolf. There he is. Got him. Let's see. A little bit of light. It's always nice to see after wandering in almost complete darkness for a while. Let me quick save again. I don't want to just die and have to keep running back. I think that's my biggest issue right now. That getting jump scared. The hell is this? Is that a boot? I think it's a quiver, but. There's so many turns. Can you imagine it not having, like, the dungeon fill out when you walked around? That'd be horrendous. You actually had to get a piece of paper and map it out. There's no way you could do that, especially not with, like, three story dungeons like you'd actually have to be like an architect or something like that like look at this like i i even have the map and i'm not sure what the fuck i'm looking at oh this is just like what in the hell all right where where are we so at the end of the hallway is a dungeon i mean not dungeon a door Apparently. It's cool. I didn't even notice this. Thank God I looked at the map. A holy tome. Some more holiness. But if anyone has an ability to detect something holy or good, they're going to fucking light up like a beacon we are. Like Santa's sleigh. Okay, I think this is the way we haven't gone. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a like a back of a dragon or something. This ebony dagger is really coming in clutch. So glad I picked it. I guess I didn't even pick it. It just kind of gave it to me. The game showed me mercy. It knew. Okay, so we have been here. Oh, okay. Right, so where is the path that we... Oh, I don't want to note anything. That's okay. Get rid of that. No, no, no. Get rid of that. I don't know what that is. I don't want that. Get rid of it. Whatever, it's fine. Just keep it. I don't care. No, I don't want to note again. God, my mouse is so bad. Alright. Uh, Down this hallway. This one, yes. If we go this way... And we curve around, and then we follow this, and then keep going straight. Here we are. Another way down into the abyss. A face on the left gets more and more real <laughs> the longer it takes for me to go through this dungeon. Just her staring at me blankly like that. Like, are you fu fucking real? Like, you came here and saved me, and... Oh my god, it's a double werewolf situation. Okay, one down. Oh, it's not even another werewolf. That was just a dead body. Oh, my bad. This... More prayer beads. You know, I thought I pressed something on the body and I heard like a shuffling noise or like a... If the ambience of this dungeon makes it hard to tell if um I've triggered a... A, like a secret door or if I'm
Or if it's just the ambience, you know? Alright, well. I don't see a way up to that giant drop area that we saw. Like, the, the little walkways we went up. So I'm going to go all the way back. And I'm going to go through that door. And we're going to see if we can... Hey, what is this, though? We haven't been through here, have we? I feel like we have. How are we not? We just walked in and didn't go through the door? Oh, I guess so. Oh, it's just another poop room. It's okay. We didn't really miss too much, but at least we mapped it. Okay. So, oh God, I'm so sorry. My mouse is really bad. It's so old. So go this way. Now we need to go up. I don't think I went up. I went the wrong way. Already lost. L. Okay. And now that we're up here, we want to go... I think this part's pretty straightforward. Down the hallway and then up. Where do we go? We go this way. Yes. Again, this is the reason why the recall spell is so good. You just don't have to worry about this. I swear. I swear. I don't know why I went super southern when I said that. I swear I'll get it next episode. And we won't have to worry about this ever again. We can just teleport whenever we want. But till then... We're here to suffer. So, I guess I go up one more level. I'm trying to remember where I walked into the walkway. I think so. I think we go this way. Now we go up again. And let's see. Um, I think it was over here in this area, wasn't it? That we saw the giant. Oh, it marked a teleporter for me. That's that's good, actually. I think that's a unity thing. Oh, here we go. Here's the giant hallway. I'm pretty sure. So we do need to get over to this side. So let's let's go do that. I keep putting notes everywhere. Can't help myself. Just love the right. What is this? This no no no. This is the empty room. Okay, cool. So now we're back in the dark hallway, and now we should come up on the the giant walk. Wait no no no. Wait no no. This is the way to the skull again. Huh? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong place. Wait, where is this? Dude, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like it... Oh, okay. I see. So we can actually go up here, take the skull down. Nice. And now we can head to that area. Okay, 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 okay. Just to kind of put a little bow on top of everything. No pun intended. Oh, fuck off. An archer across a gap that I can't get. Unless it's going to Dark Souls me and secretly have like a path. Oh, what the hell? gone rat oh, sorry sorry guys I don't even know if it picks up on the mic like me getting scared but it might 
I was just about to say I probably shouldn't brazenly run into rooms where there might be a werewolf that can jump scare me and then the game gave me a piece of my own medicine. Taught me the lesson for me. This place is massive. Never gonna get out of here. I just hope I can find some more steel stuff like uh, greaves or gauntlets. No? What did that do then? Why did I what did I I was expecting that to knock this down, but No secret door here. It's a cool little area. Is there another lever over here? Nope. Holy shit, it's another whole section. On top of another whole section. <laughs> oh, this is this might be a four hour episode. <laughs> See if there's any trap doors around here. Any place that can give me some extra gold I can appreciate. You know what? I should probably put my gold inside of the wagon as well now that I think about it. Might actually be one of the more smarter ideas I've ever had. Okay. A little surprise attack by the spider. Spider assassin, let's go. What the hell's that? What the hell? What am I hearing? I'm hearing like a lot of I'm hearing a lot of movement. What a gross place to sit. Back you beast. Be gone, demon. You don't belong in this world. But it's still so dark, even with the lantern. Or don't tell me I have to parkour. Ooh. I guess not parkour, but platform. I don't. Good news is I don't. There's just nowhere to go, and I just... Okay. Very interesting. They just made it... To a precipice. Very cool. Maybe they expected me to, to jump over that or something. I don't know. If I had the potion of levitation that I kept on me, I would have tried it, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk it and just die from something silly. Could you imagine me dying from something silly? Nonsense. I'm a professional da dagger ball player, so... Definitely not going to happen. Let's see. It's behind door number two. Another shithole. Strange that dagger... Uh, not the dagger. The lever does nothing. Maybe it opened something and I just didn't spot it. I don't know. Oh! There is a good chance that might have happened. There are enemies nearby. Oh. Tell him to leave. The hell? I'm trying to rest. Dude, I can't wait for us to make it out and then we have like two days to make it back to the father and it's gonna take five to go back and then I'm just gonna lose the quest. I'm like an asshole. Damn, he hit me hard. What the hell? Wait, oh, I don't wanna wake up. That sounded pretty grim. Ah, spider, my oldest enemy. You know, considering, speaking of my oldest enemy, oh wait, what is this? 
Where does this connect to? We haven't even discovered this place yet. Oh, cool. It's like I'm making a terrible mistake going this far into this dungeon without <laughs> the recall spell. Like, the more I look at this dungeon, the more I start, like, dreading the return journey. The fuck? Oh, there's a rat right between my legs. Okay. Alright, this... this is good? Question mark? I kind of know where we are now. I think this is the way out, isn't it? No, please quit writing notes, mouse. I wish I could scroll uh, using the WASD keys, but alas. Ooh, look at this dramatic fight. On a bridge with torches on the side over a precipice. Okay, the door just randomly closed on me. It's whatever. Tell me there's ghosts in this place too? Let's see here. Okay, so down... There are different entrances though, I'm noticing. Like these areas here, this tower over here, definitely has like a lower level that I don't think we've explored yet. Also has an upper level, which we definitely haven't seen. What is that behind there? That's a spider, look at him. Peeking through. He knows, he's waiting. Wait, what? Oh god. Okay, wait, time out. We made a terrible mistake. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is this has changed things a bit for us. Well, I think we can still make this without the ebony dagger. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic. I don't know if that picked up. I think we still got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, yeah. We're still good. We're still good. Let's see. The helm. We don't really give a shit. Let me equip the, the saber. No, no, no. I don't want to drop the saber. I want to equip it. There we go. There we are. Ah! There's still Claymore, a Griffin's Feather, that's pretty cool. And a map. The Balba... what the hell? The location of the Bali... the ba the Bali Blanc Zia Mines. Who the fuck named that place? I don't even think they named it, they probably just had a stroke and they were like, oh, alright, well. You are the, the name of this place. I mean, you are the guy that found it, so. Who are we to tell you no? Had a stroke and got embarrassed and didn't want them to know. And he was like, no, I said what I said. How about you? You do anything? No? Alright, interesting little place, I suppose. I do think we should probably get out of here, though. I mean, while this place is a pretty cool dungeon, I think it's probably time that we skedaddle. Because I don't want this kidnapping quest to go awry by not returning with the the girl. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Let's see. So if I go this way. I think I can use the skull again. Right. 
then I think it's just a straight shot back down, if I recall correctly. Which, what am I doing? It's over here. There we go. If I'm correct, I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I feel like I remember this dungeon enough now. And then we take a right. We take another right. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Okay. Let us put our stuff away in our wagon. Uh, where's our gold at? Nice store. How many do you want to drop? I don't want to drop any. I want to put it in my... You're a werewolf, Hallie. It's not good. Right, so where do we need to take this lady to? This little lady. Greencastle or the Restless Lodge Cabin. That's right. How could I ever forget? The Restless Goblin Lodge. Excuse me, not cabin. How could it be so silly? Travel time is two days. And here comes our hero. A kidnapped woman in tow. Oh, well, thank Akatosh you're alive. And good, Alistair. You didn't even use the ransom Malachite. I cannot thank you enough. Here is the eight gold I promised, but it is hardly enough. You have my deepest gratitude, friend. Take it. It is yours, my friend. No, no. You keep it. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, cool. Well, I say we give one more shot at going to... Let's see. Let's go to the dungeons. Where are we? I'm at here. The Thirsty Priest Lodge. The Crimson Fairy Lodge. Shardell. Pinton. Let's go to Pinton. Or we could have just clicked on it, but too late now. Hopefully they have a Mage's Guild, and if they do, then we will try once more. Oh, they have a, a bunch of shops, though. That's alright. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. But yes, I think that we've gone on long enough. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. A hero is born. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for so long. This has been an absolute pleasure. I, once again, didn't think I was going to love this game as much as I have. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys again next time. As Alistair continues his adventures through Daggerfall. And... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always, like every YouTuber says. And I will see you guys next time.